between me and the game and all that good stuff. Pretty okay on my end, but I can... Don't squeeze me. Don't squeeze me. Back. Back. Yeah, hopefully it sounds good. Everything's fine. Sound like Hell yeah. All right, let's play this, baby. Hell yeah. If I need to get smaller, I will, too. Maybe I'll just, I'll preemptively get smaller. Where's it down in the corner here? Well... What the hell is going on here? What am I looking at here? <laughs> oh, look, a human. I, oh, I'm not really a human, but all right. I'm gonna. Anyway, that was a good nap. I nearly slept through the whole thing. Let's see. All right, there's something I have to do first. Okay. Human, listen up. First, I'll have you select your difficulty. Okay. Choose wisely. Complain about it later, and I'll boom kill ya. Kill. Now then, display the options. Uh, we're probably gonna, okay. What the fuck do these mean? Uh, I'm guessing I want lenient. I'm guessing that's normal. Troublesome is probably hard. Means probably hard, hard. What? One of these is hard, hard, and one of these is hard, and that's probably cakewalk. Fuck cakewalk. Oh yeah, the Danganronpa, like at least in English too. Probably, I think in Japanese, well, has a ton of big voice actors over the years. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's voice actors you've probably heard in this before. I'm assuming lean, yeah, no, le adorable's easy. Lenient's probably normal. I would assume lenient's normal, and adorable's like free mode, where it's like, oh, you can fuck up as much as you want, and it doesn't matter. And then mean is hard, and then troublesome is stupid hard, or vice versa. That's what I would, that's what I would guess as an educated person that's, you know, used words before. Use the English language. I'd assume lean gets easy. But it, Chad, you're double checking things. I could look it up too, but that's way too much fucking work. Unless it's just literally lenient easy, mean. Unless they're like subverting, you know, and like. Your answer alters now. Well, yeah, I don't care about the all. I just want to know if it's actually fucking. Like, uh, I'm just gonna do lenient. Then. Oh, you sure about that? Don't say I didn't warn you. Beat me. Hmm. You want to know what difficulty that is? Yeah, let me know. The one you selected is how difficult yours truly will be on you. I'll be as difficult with you as you wish. So, I hope you're ready. Okay. Though, to be honest, oh, it's all the same whoa. no matter what you pick. I'm your lenient, mean, troublesome, adorable partner, after all. So, are you ready? Do you want to start for real? Yeah. Do you seriously want to start? Seriously? For real? Uh, what if I don't start? Hey, Akbar, you want to be mod? You want to be stuck mod here, too? <laughs> want to be trapped over here as a mod as well? I don't know what mods do on YouTube chat. Uh, 
please. The, ch the channel URL? What? How the fuck do I find your channel URL? YouTube's wild. Okay, I just do that and do... Oh, there we go. Both. You're now a managing moderator. I don't know what that means, but good luck. You got a wrench. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna hit don't start. Aww, you're not gonna start? <laughs> yeah. Guess this is goodbye then. I'll delete your game now. Nah, Bye. Sucker, I bought it physically. Can't delete my game. Is it gonna take me back to the title screen? Just oh. kidding. You can't end oh. things here. So, what is it gonna be? Are you gonna start or not? I wanna keep picking it just to see. Oh, it gives me a check. Oh. What if I do yep seriously? Huh. Guess you're really here for it. Sounds like you're just dying to solve some mysteries. She kinda of sounds you like what Sophus a little bit. Adventures with me, I, yeah, I now, now that I'm hearing it more, I, I recognize the voice too well. <laughs> Humans are so weird. It's not so is it so Well, let's get this started. It's time to embark on my lovely, thrilling, wonderful mystery solving adventure. Let's go! So are you going to wake up at 11 a.m. on America Day, too? Massacre on the Amaterasu Express. What the fuck? You don't work off? What the hell? You're in America! What's going on here? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, she's not. Oh, are you dead? Is that me? Got a question mark for hair. Whoa! What's going on? I don't know. W wait. Huh? Oh, Where there's definitely gonna I? be fireworks going off in a couple hours here. Oh. Dude, sick fucking boots, though. Who? What? Dang and Rob had banging music, so I'm excited about that too. Anything. Does that mean? Do I have what was it called? Amnesia? And he almost forgot what amnesia was while having amnesia. Uh, all right, calm down. Take a deep breath. Turn on auto advance. Dang it! I can't remember anything! Where am I? Who am I? Why can't I remember? Ah, you'll be Inside fine. Your pocket. Huh? Check your belongings. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> am I? Hearing things too? I lost my memories and now I'm hearing things. What's going on? Ow! Oh. oh, what now? I can't catch a break. Hmm. Check my belongings. By the way, I'm dumb as hell, so this might take longer than the average bear. <laughs> huh. An 
envelope. Note. Notice. World Detective Organization Human Resources. Dear Yuma Coco Head, you are hereby dispatched to the Special Autonomous Zone of Kanai Ward. Dispatch duration indefinite. Use the enclosed ticket to board the Amaterasu Express to Kanai Ward. Rendezvous with the Master Detectives on site. Upon arrival, proceed to the Nocturnal Detective Agency World Detective Organization, Kanai Ward Branch. There you will receive further instructions. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. Yuma Coco Head? That's my name? Thinking on it, I guess that sounds right. How would you know if that sounds right? That's right. I finally remember. My name is Yuma. Or if you just like convince yourself. I'm Yuma you remember... Coco Head. Oh, never mind. Change the name on there. It must be his name. Oh, it's definitely his name. We got the old intro sequence right here. But what's this about a world detective organization? Your detective, brother. It sounds significant. Am I a part of it? If that's the case... Am I a detective? I guess these kind of look like a detective's clothes. It what? seems I was supposed that to get on a train. <laughs> really? Okay. Or at least, I think so. What if you are? Could be like a storage room or some shit. Master detectives? Am I one of them? I'm afraid to hit start in case it skips all this, but I want to see if there's like an Could auto there be advance. someone who knows me <laughs> on the train? I have to keep hitting A, you know? <laughs> so I have to keep... Fucking hitting A. Here's the ticket. Let's check the schedule. Hey, it's almost time. Well, I should get on that train. I'll find out more about myself if I meet someone who knows me. Is that how it works? Attention! Ugh. Oh, well, excuse me. Before rushing to the train, start basic controls, walk around and explore the room. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Move the camera to explore oh. surroundings. So I guess it's a little more than visual novel, because you, you have control yourself. That's kind of cool. Investigate areas of interest. Better write this down. Confirm. Oh, there's auto advance! Uh, detective points can be earned by conducting a detective activities like investigation and gathering sure, info. Hope you got all that done. Earning DP increases the detective ring. Maybe something cool will happen when the ring goes up. Fair enough. Don't you forget. Uh, icons on the minimap mark the next objective and or people to talk with. Are there so many umbrellas? The label reads Lost Items Temporary Storage. A lot of umbrellas. Oh, I already looked at that. Uh... A toy robot? It looks sturdy. The label says Lost Items. Why are there so many umbrellas? Hmm. This is... Get 
peek inside through the hole. Just lift the edge. Anything else? Why can't I look in there? That's a lot of, yeah, that's a lot of umbrellas. A lot of lost umbrellas. I get it. The place where I was sleeping was in fact the train station. A pawn shop. Oh That's right. I've been sleeping in a station's lost and found section. But why was I sleeping here? I don't think you were sleeping. I'm gonna did be I honest. Faint? Or was I attacked? If so, then who did it? You're the detective. Attention passengers departing this station direct to Kanai board on the Amaterasu Express. Hey, that's where we're going. Please board immediately. The train will depart soon. Uh, I have to get on that train. I better hurry. You better hope there's nothing to explore. So I'm going to explore it. I'm vibing in this music, big fan. I'm sorry. The Amaterasu Express will now depart. Oh, hell yeah, right as the door closed, baby. We ain't even got bags or nothing. Where's our shit? Oh, made it in time. Thank you for choosing the Amaterasu Express Direct to Kanai Ward. Oh. Our train utilizes Amaterasu Corporation's state-of-the-art technology for an automated, safe, and comfortable service. Yeah. There is no crew aboard the train. Oh. Thank you for your understanding and support. Okay. Automatic? So nobody's driving this thing. Interesting. This train has five car food and beverages Shit. are available in car two. Restrooms are available in car one and car five. In case of an emergency. Visit the backup control room in car three and contact control headquarters via the intercom. I ain't gonna remember none of this. I'm sure some of this is important for whatever is about to happen. We hope you enjoy your trip aboard the Amaterasu Express on your journey to Kanai Ward. So there are five cars. This must be car one at the front. Makes sense. I better find the other detectives and meet up with them. If we use this... The notebook menu has features and useful info for investigations. When info gets updated, it will be marked with a new mark. Yo! Check, check! In case files, you can see the outline of the ongoing case and the next Whoa, objective. Oh, this stuff's vital! Save load file. Current project can, progress can be saved. The game can be served in blah, 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 blah. You definitely want to remember this. You can save wherever Master is able to walk around freely, but there are some exceptions. And that's a wrap! In options, the game settings can be adjusted. the text feed I, I wish there was an auto thing but you know what are you gonna do so I have to pay attention if you're that lost why not check your notes see not lying yeah, yeah we just learned about that yeah, we, yeah, we don't need to read that it's just happening. Use whatever you gotta to 
get the job done. Profiles information about the characters can be viewed. Pick a person and switch uh, the... Burn it into your brain! Personal info, info is shown on the character information screen. New and updated info will be marked with the corresponding markers. Likes detective novels and dislikes amnesia. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's fair. <laughs> so simple. Uh, you can review in-game terminology, names of places and events that have happened. Also, you can check my tutorials over and over again. Oh, there we go. Car one and five are restrooms. Car two is supplied with food and beverage. In, a, in an emergency, the backup control panel is in car three. What the fuck is car four for then? I guess we'll find out. Hey, what did I miss? Oh. Oh, absolutely not. We just fucking watched all that. <laughs> so what the hell did I miss? What did I miss now? Whatever you gotta to get the gear that lost. Why not just check trying your notes? to clear the thing? If we use this, why is there a new there still? Ah! Whatever. All right, what we got in here? This is the bathroom, right? Oh, the control room A. It says main control room A. The door's locked. Well, this it must be the. The cab and There's I a guess. driver's seat inside, but no one's there. The okay. machine appears to be functioning. That must be the automatic operation device. Makes sense. It won't open. I guess that's obvious. And this is the front car. The nose of the train is just beyond it. I mean, it could if be it opens, I could follow. It's map. a map of the train. The first and last cars can control the train. The rest are passenger cars. That makes sense. I guess if it's going back and forth. So there are one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's, so there are five rooms, an infirmary, a dining car. There are two infirmaries. Okay, okay, okay. Have good food, Chad. Alright, what we got in the back? There's a sink and toilet inside. This must be the restroom. There's no one inside it right now. Me don't know there's no one in there. Are you peeking? Are you peeking? I see a clean looking bed. This is probably the infirmary. Not right now, I don't think. It's locked, but there's no one inside. I guess I can go try and walk on the door and try to go in there. Uh... Yeah, I can't go in right now. Oh yeah, I can. I'm gonna hold on. Excuse me. Open the windows, okay. Hmm. That's bullshit. You're a you're a vampire. Nah, I can only interact with stuff if it has these like little things on there. It looks like. Oh shit! I'm covering the mini map. That's fine. I don't need the mini map. I need the mini map. That's locked, so I can't go in there. That's just a door outside. It says main control room B. The door is locked and won't open. I see a driver's seat in there, but driver's seats on both sides of the train. I think that means they can go in either direction. Dude, toilet ghost. Oh. You don't want a toilet ghost. I kind of sounded like a real detective there. You might have said that like eight years ago. It makes sense to this. Huh? Someone's there. I heard a voice behind the door. You look so happy.
Hey, people! Oh, nice ears. Oh, nice fucking eyelashes. Yo, are you wearing panties? Yo, you look... Whoa. Look at this colorful cast of characters. Excuse me, are you with the World Detective Organization? You are, right? You're Master Detectives, aren't you? We are. But who are you? You're wrecked. Um, I'm with you. I think I'm also a Master Detective of the World Detective Organization. A boy like you, Master Detective of the WDO. It seems like it. Seems like it. Man, I'm wearing the same shit you're wearing, motherfucker. Like hell, dumbass. Oh. Huh? A runt like you, a Master Detective? You're just shooting your mouth off. Look like a shriveled anteater. I've been rude. Anteater? What's the meaning of this? You got a lot of nerve posing as a master detective. You want to die right here, right now? Whoa, whoa, chill. W wait, please hear me out. Chill. Oh, right. I, I have proof that I'm a master detective. From the World Detective Organization? Yeah, it's bitch. real. There's no mistake yeah, about it. Yeah, bitch. What? Are you serious? Looks like there's a reason behind this. Go ahead and tell us. I'll allow it. Oh, thank you, sir. Right. Thank you. Okay, I was being sarcastic. But there's really <laughs> not much to explain. Nice. Glad we, glad we get the fast forward. And that's what happened. Amnesia. Looks that way. I was hoping one of you would know who I am. I'm guessing they all just met each other. Apparently not. No way. We're on the same team, but no one knows me? Then who am I? You're you, Makoko. We already established this. That's what I want to know. Besides, even if the letter is real, you may not be the right recipient. Why do you suspect me? Amnesia. There is a reason why. Amnesia is convenient. But first, do you know what the World Detective Organization is all about? Uh, being detectives? Um, a little bit? I think I remember a little. Or not. Guess not. So you called yourself a member without even knowing. Yes, sorry. But my amnesia. Well, I suppose it's a master detective's duty to shepherd the lost. Very well, I'll tell you. Maybe you'll regain your memories after hearing what I have to say. Story time! Uh, thank you. Fine, 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 I'll talk. Fine. Listen up. The World Detective Organization is an extra legal, extra privileged organization devoted to eradicating the world's unsolved mysteries. Okay. Their branches exist throughout the world, and their investigations are handled by master detectives. As of now, there are roughly 1,000 master detectives in the WDO. All have powers specializing in investigative work. 
Okay. Powers. Oh shit, ultimates, baby. They are supernatural powers used in investigation, known as forensic fortes. Ah, I like the alliteration, forensic fortes. People who develop talents such as clairvoyance or mind reading, they train at the organization to harness these special powers, which aid in their investigations. Those who manage to gain a forte are recognized as master detectives and given a detective deed. Okay. Which means, if you're a master detective, it should say so on your license. Detective deed? with the chat thing. It's an identification card. Check your pockets. I don't have one. If you don't have a detective deed, you ain't one of us. Even if you've got one, I'd suspect it's fake anyway. Oh, hold on! I'm not trying to trick anyone! Um, pardon me. He seems to be the only one accused of being an imposter. But how about the rest of you? If you require he has some sort of proof, then the same would apply to everyone here. Huh? The hell'd you just say? She's right. Everyone here has just met for the first time. Naturally, we would doubt one another. Huh? First time? So, you guys don't know each other? Master detectives rarely meet together. We each travel the world on our own, solving cases. Oh. I've They're never like seen so many seven gathered agents together almost. for a case like this. We thought all of the summoned members had shown up and we're about to start introductions. Then you walked in. I see. Well, let's start the introductions. We'll include the tardy one as well. Oh, that's me, I'm the late one. What? You Yo, still wanna Sink, do what up? We're doing the well, how are we? It's vital for us to ascertain each of our identities moving forward. All the more reason due to this uh, perplexing circumstance. Perplexing circumstance? What does he mean by that? Now, let's begin. Alright, let's learn about who's in the room, baby. Uh, I guess we'll just start with the old man and then work our way around. I am Zange Ereza. I come from a detective agency on the front lines far from here. Zange Ereza. Got that Metal Gear solid look to him. <laughs> Perhaps you expect an introduction, but I have nothing to say. All right. Let the past melt like ice in an evening stream. That's how I live my life. Our my forte is photography. I can transcribe images from my memory onto electronics. <laughs> I know a little about thoughtography myself. Am I, am I, am I right, fellas? <laughs> That's all for me. There's no need for any <laughs> further explanations. There's clearly something extraordinary about him. All right, what up, brother? I'll go first. You're second, Allow me to right. introduce myself. <laughs> I. And Zilch Alexander. Zilch Alexander. I'm from the Southern Forest Preserve District's detective agency. They call me Nature's Mediator. Oh, so that's why they got the old with the fox ears. 
I wow. love her people, nature, and the harmony between them. Okay. However, there are times when some would attempt to ruin that harmony. My specialty is in handling those people. Okay. Have you heard of the chain of mysterious murders surrounding the dam construction at Souls Lake? I have amnesia. I barely know my own name. Rumor has it that one by one, everyone involved with the dam's construction died, all cursed by a sunken ritual site. It was a once in a century difficult case. The one who solved it was none other than myself. Proud of you. There wasn't much to it. The culprits were locals who wanted the rights to the dam for themselves. The strange part is that all 52 villagers were in on it. They all kept their lips sewn shut to protect the secret. I'll let you figure out what that means. They were literally sewn shut. When harmony between man and nature is disrupted, disaster strikes. That is one thing I have learned as a detective. Nature's mediator. He does look like a good detective. Though he suspected me, he still gave me a fair chance to explain myself. He looks a bit intense, but maybe he's a good person. I'll describe my forte as well. I'm uncomfortable exposing classified information regarding investigators, but this is an emergency. Alright. My forte is... Animal Investigation. Alright, well, that makes sense. You like nature and shit. I can control animals as I wish, and recruit them for my inquiries. Quite fitting for the philanthropist You're that I am. Man. Though useful in many ways, I mainly use it to gather intel. It allows me to survey a target while remaining undetected. There it is. There it is. As a basic rule, I can only control four-legged mammals. Less intelligent animals are easier to control. I often use mice. They're the perfect animals for undercover investigations. That makes sense. Unfortunately, I can't show it off right now because there aren't any mice on this train. That we know of. Not only is he a good detective, but he also has those powers. He really is. A that is all from me. With love, I yield to the next person. What up, headphones? An introduction. Introduce myself. Yeah? A subjective observation of one's own self-image explained objectively. Uh, are you okay? Did I do something that caused you concern? Uh, no, it's just you seem to be having difficulty introducing yourself. I rarely have a need to do so, so I was considering what approach to take. ASL! After all, is there such a thing as a self in the oh, first place? Oh no, she's one of those. All I am is a bundle of nervous tissue reacting to external stimuli. If I had to, I guess I'd call myself... Poochie Lavman. Poochie Lavman. Is that something? Is that like an anagram? So, your name is Poochie then? Names are meaningless. A method of arbitrary labeling for self recognition, <laughs> symbols for categorization, nothing more. Like, I can't believe names are a social construct, everybody. <laughs> to that end, it serves the same purpose as a detective deed. <laughs> so I, Gucci, believe. She seems a bit odd. <laughs> Most of the World Detective Organization's work is investigating unsolved mysteries. I was trusted with many bureaucratic investigations. My clients are mainly enterprises and politicians. Okay. Depending on the client, 
I use my forte to see if the transaction party is trustworthy. Well, if it's politicians, they're probably not. My forte is known as audio aptitude. Audio aptitude. See, I see we're back to alliteration. I like it. When I concentrate, I can hear anything from distant whispers, footsteps, and even heartbeats. Oh, that's kind of cool. No one is safe to speak of their secrets when I, Poochie, am around. That's kind of cool. Oh, then did you hear anything suspicious at the station? Uh, maybe we can figure out what happened to me. Unfortunately, unless I focus my efforts on listening, I'm unable to hear things far away. Aww. Oh, I see. Constantly listening in on all sounds leads to a sensation of my physical boundaries within reality dissolving away. Same. My already tenuous sense of self starts to vanish, which is why I tend to close my ears unless I'm using my powers. Being blessed with powers sure comes at a price. Did she always act in such a strange way? Or did it develop Can't wait till I get my protagonist tech? powers. Regardless, she definitely has a distinct air about her. That is all I have to say about myself. Very, uh, very succinct. Oh. <laughs> She's clearly shy. This part of her seems a bit more normal. What up? Hey. Tall as there. hell. I like it. Uh, me? That's right. Come here. Stand before me. Ooh, why? Uh, whoa. Huh? Hell What's yeah. What's going on? I'm measuring you. Oh, okay. Uh, um... <laughs> Stay still for just a second. I'll be quick. Thank you. That was quite educational. That outfit fits you well. Yeah, thank you. My name is Melanie Goldmine. Melanie Goldmine. My home is rather far north from here. Up there is a branch with detectives adept at spiritism. I was also active there as a medium. What about the large? Melamy Goldmine. A medium? I can summon the souls of the dead by using my body as a vessel. Summon Not gonna a say soul? It. Can you summon anyone who has died? Like, for example, the victim of a crime? Probably. Yes, of course. She's got that cheat code ability, baby. She's got, why am I, hello, pick me back up. Pick me back up. Thank you. But there is one condition. I require the clothes that person wore while they were still alive. Ah, well that makes Only sense. Only by wearing their clothes can I summon their soul. Oh, that makes sense. Kind of like a bridge. Hence why my powers don't work on people smaller than me. Or if the person is far bigger. Overall, the size must match. Ah, so that's the drawback. Also, I can't abide outfits with no fashion sense. <laughs> Filthy, reeking clothes are always out of the question. Mm, I mean, that's fair, honestly. I can, I can, I can understand that. That sounds more like a preference than a condition. Clothes make a man. They reveal all about one's livelihood. Like skin worn over skin. That's what clothes are all about. I guess clothes are kind of like your second skin, I suppose. Consider that when compared to bare skin, clothing has a greater surface area seen by other people. True. Therefore, clothes are an expression of a person's identity and originality. You ever think about how you've never heard of ghosts being naked? 
What? I mean, I haven't really thought about it. Ghosts wear clothing because those clothes are a part of their identity. Is that why ghosts are sheets? Because they're all like beds? Now that you mention it. That's why, despite your amnesia, I can tell the kind of person you are just by looking at the clothes you wear. Really? Your uniform is undoubtedly an official one supplied by the WDO. And I found it fits you perfectly after measuring your size. I don't think it could possibly belong to someone else. Which means I really am a master detective? We're in! Am I one or not? I can't figure it out without my memory coming back to me. That's all I have to say. I'm the medium detective Melanie. Nice to meet you all. And anger management. I'm Apex Logan. Okay. From the detective branch in the eastern slums. Apex Legends. the hat mask thing they call me a master detective now but I'm originally a broke illegal immigrant when I was a kid I was in an upstanding home living an upstanding life my parents were lawyers who never tolerated injustice they should have left well enough alone with that local mafioso because they went after him they were murdered their necks were cut open. Oh my. Right in front of me. I fucked up. That's awful. I ran away to protect myself and jumped on a ship at the port. I didn't know where the ship was going. That was the moment I threw away my past and my home. I drifted to the slums and did everything I could to survive. I managed to survive until now. Thanks to luck. With my natural talents, I was able to become a detective. But I can't if I can't figure out Shit. the difference Sorry. between the good guys and the baddies, then I just beat up both of them. That makes sense. Kill or be killed is my motto. He looks scary, but that's not all. I think there's a deep sadness within him. Well, no shit, he's gone through a lot. I can't like. share details about my forte. Just know it's kind of like radar. That's all you're going to tell us? You got a problem with that, you tiny runt? He just told you his life story. What the fuck more you want from him? Not at all. You sure are a frail looking kid, aren't you? Pale to boot. Like disaster's got its claws on you. You sure nothing weird is haunting you? I don't know. <laughs> a detective's gotta be tough. How about a little training? Alright. First, you'll need to get used to stab wounds. <laughs> we'll start with an ice pick, and scissors, <laughs> and a fruit knife. No thanks. Don't be shy, runt. <laughs> stabby, no, stabby. Really, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Lastly, it's your turn, Yuma. Aside from having amnesia, is there anything else we should know about? I still can't remember anything. If you really are a master detective, then you should have some sort of forte. I have no idea. Oh, young man, are you sure you don't remember? How about the kind of clothes you usually wear? Or brands you like. You only inquired about clothing. Maybe you'll remember after a few punches to the head. I could work. Hold on! Apex, stop that. If you knock him out, he won't be able to speak. Yeah, that's why. The perplexing circumstance we face may have something to do with his memories. Perplexing circumstance? Is that the... Is that the big meme That's right, for this I one? was wondering about that. 
What do you mean by perplexing circumstance? Did something happen? Well... Something unexpected has occurred on our trip. The number of people is off. We're missing one? The number of people? I, Hoochie, heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was... precisely five. Five? That means one of us is not one, a detective. Two, three, four, five, six. There's six of us! I also heard from the WDO that five master detectives will gather on board. Hence why when you called yourself a master detective, I was honestly surprised. I knew this job wouldn't be easy, but there's already a mystery before us. <laughs> this is getting exciting. It's obvious what's going on. There's an imposter among us. Bogus! It's not me! I... think? <laughs> How about we contact the WDO and find out? Uh, it could be a mistake. It's no use. I can't reach them. There's no signal here. Doesn't like Car 3 have some sort of emergency contact thing or some shit? <laughs> Who could the uninvited sixth guest be? It's obvious. I'm the most suspicious. Especially with my amnesia in this situation. Could I be the imposter? And I just can't remember? I am the sixth one here. All right, I got it. Okay. Hey, since you're all clueless, I'm gonna tell you my extra sharp deduction. All right. You may speak. I'll allow it. Thanks, Zilch. <laughs> Why would I need your permission? I'm about to say. <laughs> Way I see it, the runt here ain't the imposter. Huh? It'd be boring if the most suspicious one is the culprit. True. The run must have been attacked by the real culprit. The memory loss is a side effect of the attack. And the imposter's motive? Why would they attack Yuma? To keep him off the train. But I guess I woke up and made it in time. To pretend to be a master detective and replace the runt on the train. Yep. The plan was going smoothly, but the runt suddenly woke up. He got on the train right before it departed, and the results stand before us. Obviously, the imposter miscalculated. The runt's gotta be tougher than he looks. Oh, that's a surprisingly proper deduction. And I thought you'd be the most useless one here. There's somebody with amnesia, Melanie. Why? Thank you. I'm not sure of a compliment. In other words, I was knocked out of the station because someone attacked me? But I don't think I've been injured. You don't you have amnesia. Excuse me. My deduction is slightly different. Let's hear it. I'll allow it. Alright, so Stop acting like we need to get your permission. <laughs> I suspect that the entire situation is a test. Designed by the World Detective Organization. Yeah, this is a tutorial, I guess, of, of sorts. A test? A WDO exam officer has disguised themselves as a member and is ascertaining our skills here. That still means there's one off, though. If that were the case, Yuma here could possibly be the exam officer. Yeah, that's me. I'm exam officer at FJ the Egg. Me? An exam officer? Some test in the <laughs> Bring it on! It's I don't think it's me. I don't care if it's the WDO or a hitman. If you wanna test me, I'll show you what I got. What are you trying to do? For now, I'll check to see if there are other uninvited guests. I wouldn't want any accomplices lurking about. And how are you going to do that? Let's go room to room, baby! Like this! Oh yeah, he's got sonar or, or uh, radar. He said. Let's go. <gasps> so 
Am I able to see other people's powers, maybe? Am I the only one that saw that, or, or what's, go what's going on here? What? What was that? A weird feeling overcame my whole body. No signs of the enemy. <laughs> Turns out there really are just six of us on this train right now. Okay. Um, what did you do? I used my forte, life detection. Life detection? I can detect life in a 50 meter radius and pinpoint its location. The mechanism is a trade secret, but I can say without a doubt that we're the only ones on this train. Talk all you want, but who can verify that you're not lying? We're never gonna get anywhere if you start doubting everything. Use your own damn powers to figure it out then. That's true. I see. So Forte's come in handy at a time like this. In that case, there's someone else with a power that can confirm if other passengers are on board. Yeah, you can listen. You can almost disassociate, but you can focus and see if you can hear anybody else with a heartbeat or some shit, um, right? Fuji, would it be possible for you to verify what Aphex said is true? Yes. I, Fuji, was contemplating it at the moment. Even if someone is hiding, my audio aptitude is able to detect their breathing and heartbeats. Shall I try? Let's go. Yes, please. Hey, what's with the gloomy little girl? Don't tell me she's motion sick. She's using her audio aptitude to check if there are other passengers. Oh, really? Well, that's great. Go for it. It'll prove I'm right. Shut. Huh? Shut up, you brain dead idiots. Oh, whoa. Pardon me. Would you mind quieting down for a bit? I need to concentrate. Okay, we got a loading screen there for the first this time. Sensation. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. So this is my thing. I can I guess I can tell like when other people are using their powers, I guess. Somehow it feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. Oh, I'm overpowered because I can when they're using their powers I can kind of tag along with them while they're doing it. hear it what's going on i finished i cannot hear the heartbeats of anyone besides the six of us here though one could hold their breath they still cannot stop their heart from beating in other words there's no one else on this train i poochie guarantee it thanks poochie see thanks. i told you so sorry for calling you gloomy earlier little girl you know I'm glad you've confirmed my findings, but aren't our powers kind of the same? I can hear heartbeats from 500 meters away. <laughs> so you're the useless one. Uh. Quiet, you catty bitch! Oh! <laughs> Moving on, we've now got proof from two master detectives. We can say for sure that there are no I mean, they other passengers. Though one may be a lying imposter, the other's statement can still be trusted. One of them, an imposter? They can't both be lying about the same thing because then it would just be the truth. But Aphex and Pucci both use their fortes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but only they. But 
I guess nobody else can see the Fortes and I can, so that means I can confirm what they're doing, but nobody else can actually confirm what they're doing with them. I could feel them using their powers, so I think it's safe to say both are master detectives. But I'm the only one who can sense their powers. No one else seems to have the same experience. Why am I the only one? That's your forte. <laughs> What's wrong with you, old man? You gone senile or something? Can you all hear that? The sounds of a running train. The wheels of fate chugging along. In the same way, our fate continues to turn. This train will press on until we reach our destination. No one can get off midway, including the uninvited sixth. True. Let's discover which of us is the caged bird in here. Technically, we were all caged birds. <laughs> My fading detective spirit is revitalized once again thanks to this burning mystery. Not bad. Things are getting interesting. You're joking. What could the imposter even accomplish? We're all master detectives here. And yet, we don't know who the fake one is. I've used my powers, so obviously I'm the real deal. The gloomy girl detective also passes. She ain't no fake. So, how about the guy blowing smoke, huh? Why don't you go ahead and prove yourself with your forte? There's no mice. How about it, you four-eyed fox detective? As I have already explained, my power involves animals. Without them, I can't use it. So, you're fine being considered a suspect, then? You are free to think what you wish. Oh, my God. Unfortunately, I can't prove myself, either. Without a dead body, I can't use my powers as a medium. Now we've got two suspects. How about you, old man? I don't mind showing off, but it won't clear any suspicions. The sixth uninvited guest could possibly be a traitorous master detective with their own forte. That's true. Damn. There's no end to this. To hell with it. Everybody line up. I'll deck you one by one. It's not gonna accomplish. Whoever passes out is safe. Got it? The what? real deal. <laughs> if you don't pass out in one hit, then you gotta be the imposter. What? <laughs> Calm down. What? Let's do things logically. Like the detectives we are. Pardon me. I suggest we investigate this, starting with the motive for the imposter's infiltration. Hmm, the motive. One possibility is that it's a test from the World Detective Organization. Are there any others? There are. You may speak. I love no. For the hundredth time. Why would they need your permission? The Amaterasu Corporation. They could be responsible for this. Oh, true. And the your train. reasoning. Maybe they want to see how the train holds up to, for, some, for some reason. Maybe there's like something on the train that needs to be tested. Beat downs for everyone. I don't know how much it will help there. For the past few days. <laughs> It started after I was first assigned to Kanai Ward. Oh. Wherever I went, I could sense the presence of someone in the shadows. But I could never catch them in the act. Okay. It was getting annoying, so I tried to bait them out. I walked around town in my underwear. Oh, hell and at yeah. Last, they revealed themselves. <laughs> hell yeah. Hold up. Did you just say that you... <laughs> hmm? Something the matter? <clears throat> Never mind. Continue. <laughs> I avoid solving problems with violence, so I was unable to apprehend them. However, I saw them escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars with my own eyes. Ah. Why would Amaterasu Corp spy on you? Because they don't want Kanai Ward to be investigated. Perhaps this is the same situation. Which is why I think our uninvited sixth guest is a spy from Amaterasu. 
The spy has only one goal, to disrupt our trip to Kanai Ward. Hence, why they are pretending to be a master detective among us. Does that mean they're gonna like try and stop the train or like send the train back somehow with one of the the train car like autom automated rooms or some shit? Hmm. So you believe Amaterasu is involved? Not impossible, though your reasoning is somewhat lacking. I do not see how escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars is proof someone is a company spy. Well, that's fair. Um, excuse me. You keep talking about it, but what's Amaterasu Corporation? Yeah, hey, give me the rundown. Are you kidding me? We gotta explain that too? It's fine. We can teach Yuma as we share information with one another. All right, let's learn about the Amaterasu Corporation. What is the Amaterasu Corporation? In short, Amaterasu is a freaking huge company. Freaking huge, baby. You see their products practically everywhere in daily life. Amazon. They make everything from kids' toys to fighter jets. Industrial goods, electronics, and pharmaceuticals. Everything. Big companies always got dark underbellies. With Amaterasu, for their smoke, there's a whole building burning down. That's a detective joke. Funny, huh? <laughs> sure, I got it. Thanks. I understand that reference. Alright. What about the Express, then? Speaking of, this train is called the Amaterasu Express, isn't it? Yes. The Amaterasu Express is an entirely driverless train developed by the Amaterasu Corporation. Shock. The WDO made arrangements to prepare it for arrival at Kanai Ward. Normally, it has no passenger cars for the trip to Kanai Ward, but they added ours as a special exception. It features enough passenger space for all of us and a lavish dining car. Quite the warm welcome. Yep, I, uh... A perfect setup to persuade us nothing is amiss in Kanai Ward. By the way, the windows and doors are completely locked until we arrive. They say it's for our safety. But I feel as though we're stuck in a big moving coffin. Oh, no, big coffin. No ghost fire! All the sash windows are sealed, so they can't be opened. I, Pucci, confirmed it myself prior to the train's departure. Perhaps these measures were taken to prevent infiltrators or stowaways. Once it's en route, the Amaterasu Express becomes a box that's impossible to enter or exit. If you feel up to it, why don't you take a look around? No, we saw the windows in the bathroom that are like fucking duck shut. But you shut can't access shit. the fifth car. The one at the end. The door Ooh. appears to be broken and won't open. Yeah, coffin on wheels. Broken? Well, go ahead and see for yourself. Right. I got, I got one more thing to ask about first. Uh, what's the Kanai Ward? We're heading to Kanai Ward. What does that have to do with Amaterasu Corporation? It's fairly complicated. But Kanai Ward is essentially an Amaterasu Autonomous Zone. Ah. Previously, Kanai Ward was just another regional city. But as it was being developed by Amaterasu Corp, the city itself transformed. Factories, research labs, and affiliate companies were built. Help, help. In no time, the whole place belonged to Amaterasu. As a matter of fact, Kanai Ward is essentially ruled by the Amaterasu Corporation. Well, that's why they don't normally let people go on the train to there. Political power has no influence there. Since it's so isolated, no one has been traveling to and from Kanai Ward. Isolated? Exactly. Because of that, no information has been getting out, aside from rumors of unsolved cases. This has been going on for years. 
But the unified government has been turning a blind eye to the so whole that's thing. that's why we're supposed to be heading out there. So theoretically, if there is a spy from the Amaterasu Corporation, that would make sense they don't want us going out there to start solving shit that, you know, they don't want solved. The Amaterasu Corporation's influence affects not just the UG, but the entire world. Given the situation, the World Detective Organization couldn't wait any longer and decided to act. As a result, master detectives are gathering in Kanai Ward. Makes sense. And that's pure speculation, mind you. We won't know the full details until we arrive. If we arrive. I see. Thank you very much. Has anything you heard sound familiar? Oh, thank God I don't have to hit A anymore. It feels like my first time hearing about any of it. Sorry. What up, Goose, by the way? Thanks for making it, everybody. Hope you all have a good day. It's all right. Just tell us if you do remember anything. Thank you. He seems nice and all, but maybe he's the imposter. Huh? Did someone just speak? Oh, we're hearing the, the, the ghost. No. Hey, what's wrong? You've gone pale. How about you have something warm to drink and get some rest? Do you drink it black? Or do you need some milk? Front probably wants milk. Hey, how old are you anyway? I can't tell from the way you dress. We're all wearing the same shit. Never mind him. Here, have a drink to warm yourself up. <sighs> Thank you. I'm, I'm vibing in this background music, by the way. What was that voice earlier? Am I hearing things? I have amnesia, and now I'm hearing things. What's happening to me? I wonder if it has something to do with the sixth person. Besides, who is this sixth uninvited guest anyway? I should think about it a bit. Who is the most suspicious person here? I think it's the old man, but if, if, if they're making me pick, it's the old man. Zilch is very, uh, very take charge. I'm going with Zilch, honestly. Zilch took on the leadership role immediately. Instead of simply taking charge, what if he was trying to manipulate us? Maybe I've already been manipulated. No matter how much I think about it, we have no proof of anything so far. Wake up, baby! If I really am a master detective, I could have some useful powers. I wonder if I can somehow remember what those powers were. You were already talking about it earlier. Remembering now won't do any good. This is Sothis, right? The ghost is what's her face. Or the Sothis from uh, the fire, fire Emblem, Three Houses. And She's done a bunch of other fucking shit. Uh, Morgana. From fucking uh, Persona, right? The, hey, am I losing my mind? There it is again. I keep hearing that voice. Jeez, what's happening to me? Hey, Runt! Uh huh? Get over here. The old man is gonna show off his powers. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, Zange? There is a chance that it's all a trick made to look like a forte. Let's observe him carefully and see. There is a chance that it's all... Photography, huh? Can you use it to show what historical figures wore day to day? 
I've heard someone has used photography to show the other side of the moon. Oh. Can you do that, Zange? Make it quick, old man. It should be no problem if you're a real master detective. All right, let's Although see it. I am reluctant to do so. I shall demonstrate my forte. All right, let's see it. You forced my hand. Otherwise, suspicions will continue to mount against me. What's that? Your cell phone? Quiet. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? There it is again. I can feel Zonga using his forte. As I've said before, my power is photography. I can project my memories onto electronic mediums to generate and record footage. Oh. The recorded clip shows what occurred approximately five minutes ago. I suppose it's faster to simply show you. Oh shit. That's definitely the scene that took place about five minutes ago. I can only record about two to three seconds. Back in my prime, I was able to do ten. Okay. Also, as memories fade, the recorded footage will also fade. Oh. The rule of thumb is that it lasts around 48 hours. But by copying it to another device before it fades, footage can be used as evidence during investigations and in court. Ah. Pardon me, but are you sure this is photography? It appears as though you captured footage from a hidden camera. All you do is doubt everybody! <laughs> Be constructive for once! <laughs> you think being suspicious isn't constructive? Don't you believe that the truth lies beyond all yeah, suspicion? Yeah, but you can't just doubt everybody. If you just doubt everybody, then everybody's the imposter at that fucking point. Yep. A detective's job is to suspect others. I'm hearing things again. My memories haven't returned, and the voices keep getting louder. It's giving me a headache. It's like my own body doesn't belong to me. Young man, are you all right? You don't seem well. There's a fly landing on my head. I'm sorry. I feel a little dizzy. I believe you should rest. It's going down. Maybe a nap will help get your memories back. The passenger rooms from car three and beyond are all full, so you should use car one at the front. I believe there's an infirmary in there. It should be easy to monitor from where we're at in the second car. Monitor? You've got some nerve. Will you be all right on your own? Or do you need some company? Well, if you insist. Sheesh, get a grip, will ya? Sorry. Huh? Did you say something? No, it's nothing. I'm all right. I can... got some profiles to look at. Never mind, we all got profiles to look at. Oh yeah, we do. Okay, I'm about to say, we just met like fucking eight people. Uh, Zonge Eraser. June 14th. Oh, well, just had his birthday. Dislikes modern cell phones. Likes whiskey. Zilch Alexander. October 4th, likes animals, dislikes the destruction of nature. Master Detective. Fastidious, conceited, and patronizing is a tendency towards leading to the conversation, moving things in a logical order. Poochie Lavmin, 
Lofman? I, I don't remember how she said her last name. I guess it doesn't matter because she doesn't give a fuck about her last her names anyway. March 25th likes classical music, dislikes loud people. Despite her childlike appearance, she has a machine like composure and mental processing speed. She has emotional being intense, doesn't socialize well, and avoids communication. Melanie Goldmine, September 28th, likes beautiful heartwarming clothes and dislikes ugly non heartwarming clothes. Uh, glamorous woman with a keen intellect behind her flamboyant appearance is a fashionista whose mind is often focused on clothes. She appraises other people's figures and is quick to like anyone with a body type that would suit her favorite outfit. Finally, Apex Logan, December 21st, likes basketball, dislikes rogues with no sense of justice. Uh, a rude, moody, and violent looking man who indiscriminately shouts at everyone around him. In actuality, is a hard working, decent person from the slums who worked his way up from nothing. I don't know where that other fucking glossary is. Alright, let's go. We gotta go sleepies in the infirmary. We gotta go sleepies. Oh, I already looked at that. Wait. It's locked. Yeah, it was locked last time too. You gotta find the key first. The key. Where's the key? Is it? Somewhere in the first car? I see, I see. Uh, if the entire area in the mini-map is shining, it means the destination or investigative objective is nearby. Let's take a closer look around. Fire extinguisher. I don't think it'll be in the bathroom. It's not. Maybe, maybe it is in the bathroom. Hmm. Check the bathroom, I guess. It opened. <sighs> oh, I can see myself this time. Kill me.
What? Huh? What is this thing? How can you call me a thing when I'm so adorable? What? Uh, aren't you rude? It's talking! Not only am I hearing things, I'm seeing things too? I've completely lost it! <laughs> Master? That's right. We exchanged an intimate secret pact just between us. Alright. Huh? When? What pact? What? You've forgotten all about how we were so passionately bound together? Got amnesia. Oh, how cold of you. After I offered myself to you and you alone. Oh, shit. You're so irresponsible. Take ownership of your actions. I barely know my own name. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Are you kidding? Of course you forgot. That's part of the contract. Oh. You don't get a death god for free, you know. Death you god? Meet, you gotta bring something to the table. Oh. Wait. What did you just say? A death god? Hell yeah. Call me Shinigami. Shinigami. something in return offered <gasps> you mean memories you finally got it you offered your own memories you tossed away your entire past and smashed our fates together that's why i have amnesia the euphoria from completing our contract made you pass out in that room even though you woke up it took some time for me to take root in you but I can talk to you now, which makes me happy. That. Oh. Which is it? Why would I make a contract with you? Why did I offer my memories? Sorry, but I can't share the contract's details with you. Those are the rules. Of course. Why not? Tell me. No can do. That's the contract. By the way, Master. Something's been bothering me. What is it? Two hours have gone by since you passed out. Huh? Two hours? Yep. And here I was, waiting for you to wake <laughs> up. Admirable, right? So I'm just on the bathroom floor. But during that time, no one came to check on you. Shock. They're all so cruel, you know? Maybe they forgot about you. It's like I forgot about my memories. Speaking of... Why am I here? Is this the restroom in the first car? That's right. I felt sick at the dining car, so I was looking for the key to the infirmary. You should watch your own health, Master. We share mind and body. When you feel sick, I get irritated too. Your you can help out then. Is probably why I felt sick in the first place. Hey, don't blame me. Anyway, you better hurry and take a look around. That's right. Where are the others? Uh... You good? Yeah, yeah! <sighs> Only a little bit. 
is going on? It's me! How mysterious! Alright. What? Weren't you watching over me the whole time? I can't be separated from you. That should be obvious since I'm haunting you. All I saw was your dumb sleeping face in the restroom. I've no clue what happened outside. Alright, you don't gotta. You don't gotta. So I say it like that. Here. Hey, look, look! There's smoke coming in through the cracks of the door! Right! Is there a fire? Looks like somebody tried to get so the fire extinguisher there. Now I'm getting excited! I guess you are a death excited? god. Excited? We have to do something! So excited. Well, I guess it's not Zilch. Guess I was wrong. <laughs> oh, he burned as fuck. Why? Why did this happen? There's no time to rest. If you're a detective, you know what to do. Let's let's get some clues, baby. Huh? Search the body. You need to confirm if someone is really dead by checking the body. I like that little uh that little uh character thing right there. The, the Me? pipe. Maybe I should ask for help. Why would a detective run from a corpse? I don't know that I'm a detective. Well, you sure are one. Otherwise, you wouldn't have asked for help from yours truly. Unless you're just telling me that. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? I'll explain it another time. But since you've forgotten, I'll be your mentor and train you to be a proper detective. Detective art. So get Even to though it. I'm already detective. I'm really doing this. So did the of fire course. kill him, or did the knife kill him, or was, is first on the scene. was he already dead before the knife and the fire even, maybe? <sighs> Obviously, it doesn't look good for me, since I was supposed to be in this uh, infirmary. Time to investigate. Oh, fine, I'll do the body first. It's completely charred. Is. No movement. No breathing either. I can't feel a pulse. The smell of burnt flesh is too much for me. Dude, that probably smells like fucking butthole, honestly. The knife is still lodged in the chest. This is the only knife wound. I don't see any other injuries. Well, how's our corpse doing? <laughs> Dead, without a doubt. <laughs> How's our corpse doing? Dead. <laughs> Thought so. Kind of charred after all. You really didn't even need to check. You want to be too. <laughs> Don't be so glum. You had to check the corpse in any case. Where is everybody else with this fire and, and everything that's happening? It's not that. I mean... If I'd noticed sooner. Bro, we were passed out in the bathroom dead. You think you could have saved a life? Forget about it. If you're so worried, try CPR. I don't know. You'll be tasting soot doing that to such a turd corpse. Might cut yourself on the knife, dead. too. Never let that get you down. Right. I have to tell the others about this. Mm, I smell a cake. This is... 
fire extinguisher I use is on the floor. It looks like it's mostly empty. Master. Don't log about the fire or some quick thing. I can I, what? Okay, chill. I'll go back over to the corpse in a second. Got the IV thing. Medical equipment from the infirmary. I don't know how to use it. Thank you for the corpse commentary. <laughs> CAD using this on Dilf now probably won't Hello? help. So many different ways to say charred corpse you have in Shinigami. <laughs> along the way that we can look at before we head up there. Doesn't look like it. Hey, uh, guys, a body has been discovered. What happened in here now? Huh? Is everybody just dead? Hello? No way. Is this a dream? This has to be a dream, right? Why is everybody charred to death? Maybe it's a nightmare. <laughs> Have I not, like, woken up from being melded with Shinigami or something? Please, I want to wake up. I can't take this anymore. You're so pitiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, they Are seem you really sure fucking dead. <laughs> what are you anyway? Friend or foe? Your friend, of course. After all, you're my master. Isn't that nice? I'm your friend and I'll be haunting you till death do us part. I don't get it. Why would I make a contract with a death god? Wait, do they even really exist? Maybe this floating thing is just a figment of my imagination. True. Shut your trap! You memoryless, courageless, brainless detective! Oh, rude. This is a nightmare to you, then you gotta use all you've got! But what can I even do? That's why I'll be your teacher and mentor. I'll make you a proper detective yet. If you burn right here, you would think there would be more than just this little spot, right? Like, because that whole other room, like that whole area where the body was burning was fucked. But this is very contained to have somebody that's been set on fire. Just listen to me and everything will be A-OK. -okay. First, check the scene of the crime like you did earlier. Now stand up. Come on! Alright. It's Melanie, alright. She's completely burnt to a crisp, but I recognize what parts are left of her face. There's no pulse or breath. No doubt she's been dead for a while. There's a bottle of liquor nearby. Maybe that was used to start the fire. You found two corpses back to back? You sure are reeling them in! <laughs> <laughs> Talk about beginner's luck! There's nothing lucky about this at all! <laughs> So, what's the cause of death? Huh? Oh, um, there aren't any obvious external wounds. That's what I was thinking about Zilch, too. Like, there's a knife in there, but we don't know when. Like, they could have been dead before the knife was put in there. So she burned to death. The other one also got incinerated. Such a cruel way to die. What's going on here? You think there would be, like, less clothes on her if she was burned to death like Jesus. Zilch? Empty liquor bottles, all well, them in high alcohol content. <laughs> what a rich fragrance! How about a taste, Master? What are you eating over here? Alright. He's literally flambéed with some pricey looking liquor. Not a bad way to go. <laughs> I don't 
see. You better hurry. Hurry where? We're just gonna run to another charred body. I'm fucking looking around the room, being thorough, being a detective Let's like you wanted. Huh? Did it just shake? Is the car being detached? Oh. What was that? The lights went out for a moment and came back on. Oh, it got dark outside. Tunnel? Looks like yeah. we're in a tunnel. Anyway, shouldn't you be hurrying? You should probably tell the other master detectives, yeah? I have a feeling they might know. Right, that's right. Got a sneaking suspicion. <laughs> Tragedy. This is like the very picture of hell. <laughs> One mystery after another. I can't hold back from all this excitement. We have to find the others right away. I'm getting excited here. Oh, chill. Well, let's find corpse number one of car number three. There's no way, oh, like, we gotta still be, like, we're getting oh, fucked with by no Shinigami, way. right? And that's number three! It's a hat trick! Or a turkey, right? Yeah. <laughs> Every sports it's analogy you want to use. Master, if you don't want to end up like this, then you better be more prudent. Huh? The train hasn't gotten to the destination yet, and you can't get off halfway. Which means whoever killed these guys is still in the train, right? How have they found me? But who would do such a thing? Well, it's either what Zonga or you better nail it, Master. Apex at this point, right? Regardless, you should leave the door open to be safe. Gotta make sure you don't get cornered. Yeah. She's back? Maybe there's a weapon for self-defense inside. It'd be good for you to check it out. I just want to see panties. I'm sorry, Poochie. I'm taking a look inside. There's a change of clothes and travel supplies. No weapons or other self-defense items. Oh, what up, Gato? It's a wash, then. It was sitting there like a treasure chest, so... I was hoping there'd be a rare metal inside. <sighs> Why is this happening? Even Poochie. Master, let's move on if you're done here. There's no time to waste. Right. Where's Zonge? And Apex, too. They're probably dead in their rooms if I'm any judge of what's going on right now. This is... <laughs> Alright, okay. I see what you've done there game I understand this reference <sighs> that's a teddy bear or something that strange could happen <laughs> uh, this is made by uh, the people that did Danganronpa K dog it's Poochie's corpse I can barely make out what's left of her face she doesn't appear to have any external wounds there's a blanket over her torso. Looks like she was burned when the blanket was set on fire. Yep, it's a corpse. Thanks. All right. Don't change the art. So yeah, yeah, the art style is very dang, and, but it's uh, it's it's less visual novelty and more I'm um, kind of exploring the environment. 
Are they like dead now? Oh, we got uh, Shinigami now. Uh, like Yuma, dislikes boredom. Death God contracted to haunt Yuma, only visible to Yuma, constantly floating and bobbing along, cheerful and chatty. The Death God's sense of morality is quite far removed from that of humans. He was found dead, burnt to a crisp. Found dead, burnt to a crisp. Found dead, burnt to a crisp. We gotta still be asleep. There's no way, right? This is like when we're gonna get snapped back to reality once we get to the front of the car, right? Room 302 is about to have another one. Oh. First room that had, that had a fucking corpse in it. This is. This is probably Melamy's room. This is. Hmm. Or I guess it could be Animal Boy. Uh. He had glasses. Whose bag is this? Oh, it's open. Is it okay for me to look inside? Oh, well, we're already here. You're a detective. Why even ask? No. Detectives search people's bags and cupboards all the time. All right. Smashing. That's too much. My bad. I don't Notice. have auto advance. World Detective Organization Human Resources. Dear Zilch Alexander, you are hereby dispatched it to the special the autonomous region and the of Kanai Ward. Dispatch duration indefinite. That's what ours said. Use the enclosed ticket to board the Amaterasu Express to Kanai Ward. Rendezvous with the master detectives on site. Damn, I was way wrong about Ziltron. Upon arrival, proceed <laughs> to the Nocturnal Detective Agency, World Detective Organization, Kanai Ward Branch. I don't think ours said that. There, you will receive further instructions. Unless I just don't remember what ours said. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. And this is a letter for Zilch. So, the only things inside are work documents. And nothing else of note. No. <laughs> all right. No. One room left. I'm gonna find some more fucking charcoal bait. This isn't a passenger room. The sign says backup control room. Looks like a secret base. Don't you want to destroy these whenever you see them? No. No. <laughs> There's no one here, so I should go look for help somewhere else. How about you check out that machine over there? Maybe it'll help you figure out what happened. It's okay. I won't break it. I don't know. Fine. You just gotta hit this thing, and it'll be good as new. Intercom too. Oh, there's an intercom. In an emergency emergency, press this button and speak into the machine. Yeah, and now I'll report this to control headquarters and call for help. <sighs> it won't connect. Why? Maybe it's because we're in a tunnel. If it doesn't connect during an emergency, it's totally useless. That's true. If this system was completely automated. A report should have been sent to control headquarters about the fire. Maybe everyone in control headquarters is already dead. And you're the last living human in oh, the world. Oh, last living human. What a horrible thing to say. That's us. We made it. All right. All right. Uh, let's see about the route map. This is the train map. The shining part must be the train's current location. Yes, we're in the tunnel right before Kanai Ward. After we exit this long tunnel we just entered, we'll reach Kanai Ward in no time. It's been a long trip, but I'm sure it's been a shorter one for a certain mapping detective. Oh, I am still asleep. What's this machine? 
There appears to be instructions. Backup control system? The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system after one second. So the control system manages the electricity. Oh, so that's why the this lights the came backup, back on? Not the main one. Hey, what about the file over here? What does it say? It looks like an explanation about autonomous driving. The control system will supply electricity as programmed and drive the train. But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. Because of that, it can easily climb steep slopes. Hmm. I guess everything here relies on that control system. And that's why the lights went out for a second, maybe? The, the... Uh... Something happened with the main one, and then it took over? So, if you destroy the main and backup control systems, you can stop the train. Hello. Right now the control system is functioning, so the train is still moving with no issues. The monitor displays an operation log, but there's no record that the train has stopped at all. Yeah. Master, while you were sleeping like a log, I never sensed the train stopping either. The doors won't open unless it stops and the windows are all locked. No one can get on or off while it's en route. Even if you could just jump out the windows or the doors, you're on a moving train that's flying. You're probably not doing too hot if you jump off. Huh? What's wrong, Master? I noticed the backup control system is operating. Yeah. That's when the power went out. Well, it's better that it's running. All the electricity is managed by the control system, after all. Yeah, but it's only if the main one goes anyway, down. Anyway, Master, I'm bored of this place. Let's move on already. You don't want, to want me to look around. Move on because you're bored? button. I want to press a button. So... In the end, there weren't any survivors in this train car. You... Yeah, you're right. Wasn't Let's like... Go to the next one. Wasn't the door, like, fucked? Didn't Melanie say that the door was, like, fucked to the front car? Oh, maybe it was the five that was fucked up and they couldn't get through. Um, is anyone there? I'm Watch ready out. for some more grill. There's nothing here. I don't see luggage or anything else. If each person gets their own room, then someone got nothing, right? It can't be. Yeah, it's nothing. No. Uh say nothing in the pockets. Hmm? Magazines. Pro wrestling hell yeah. I guess that would be right up uh, Apex's alley with all the uh, is... aggression. Lots of tissues. <laughs> all right, we're, we're, we're masturbation joke. Well, there's two things up ahead. Oh. oh. Okay. There's the old man. Why? He's burnt to shit How too. Did this happen? Okay, you don't have to look. No, it's with all the sports what? metaphors. Do you think this is funny because you're a death god? Uh, that's what it seems like. No. Oh. Uh. Oh, <laughs> 
I'm not sure that's a word. This is all wrong. Yo, can we check his phone to see what happened before he got three this seconds is... and 48 hours, right? Like all the little cactuses, the cacti. This looks like Zangi's bag. There's nothing inside that matters. Damn, that's fucked up. You away the gas mat. <laughs> Sange. He's burnt to a crisp. Why I did just barely why did... his face though? Why did Zilch have a knife in him and nobody else had anything in them but they were burned? Why why was there a knife? I can't find any particular external wounds, just like the other corpses. He was also incinerated in a burning blanket, like Zilch in the first car and Poochie in the third one. All three of them were sleeping in bed and murdered by immolation? Oh, What's this? Zange's cell phone. Maybe his photography left something behind. No good. Just a video of me drinking coffee. Damn. They can't help me solve this mess. Damn. Photography is the first thing I thought of too. That's four of them. Who could have done this? Well, clearly it's Apex Legends until we find this charred corpse in the next room. Wait! There are just six people on the train, including myself. And I found four bodies. Yep. Zilch, Melanie, Poochie, and Zange. The only one left is Apex? Took you long enough. I knew from the very start. You still need work, Master. I'll be sure to train you well. So Apex is the culprit? He murdered the others in such a deranged way? He's got a short fuse, so maybe it was a crime of passion. He probably lied about being a master detective. No, he's a master detective for sure. I sensed him lose his powers. You sensed it? Hmm. But if he betrayed the WDO and became an Amaterasu Corporation spy, it's reasonable to conclude he killed the other master detectives to sabotage our efforts. Anyway, time to boom kill that psycho! You were totally about to say that. Yeah, but right, we checked master? all the corpses and as per the death god's orders. And we didn't say anything about any of them being alive or breathing or anything like that. I, mean, I guess if there was a way to use what's her face's powers to, ch to detect heartbeats maybe not at all if he finds me i'm oh irl so when we wake up from the dream the only one who is dead is gonna be apex do you think this is all a dream or something you going look on like you'd be the first to die a nightmare i won't deny it i probably got overlooked i was supposed to be in the infirmary in the first car but i passed out in the restroom right maybe they thought maybe they th thought that the person in the room was me, but it turned out to be Zilch because I was supposed to be in the infirmary and that's why they stabbed me instead of just burning me? Maybe or they quote stabbed me? me. <sighs> oh, I just remembered! Huh? What's up? Master, I told you that while you were passed out, no one came to the restroom. But one time, the door did open, I think. By the time I noticed, the door closed again. I don't know who was there. Maybe they just didn't notice somebody in the bathroom? Now that I think about it, could it have been that guy with the short fuse? So, he let me go? Why? Hmm. Maybe he thought you weren't even worth killing. You're an incompetent guy with amnesia. Ooh. That wasn't a diss, just a fact. I know. <laughs> well, we, know we have to find him before the train arrives. Find him and do what? Talk him to death. Catch him, of course. And it's all up to you, Master. 
That's impossible. It's fine. There's no time to waste. Nothing's fine about it. There's only a couple more places he could be. This room or in the car we can't get into. Yo, check, check. This is. Yeah, this is yeah, all Melanie's. <laughs> it's a woman's travel bag. There's a name here. Melanie Goldmine. It looks like makeup and travel supplies. Nothing noteworthy. Hey, did you check to see if someone's hiding nearby? Yeah, no one's here. Are you sure? And what if he's hiding in the back? I don't know. Even a child couldn't hide in there. You don't know that. You're up against a master detective, remember? Yeah, but we felt him using his fucking radar power, so he can't shrink down in size as far as we know to hide what the bag. If there's a master detective who has the appearance of a child but the mind of an adult. So Poochie, who's dead? Of course there isn't. You sure about that? I think there's totally a detective like that out there. Alright, we okay, Detective Conan. I get the reference. I understand the reference, everybody. said the door to the first car the I guess the fifth car was fucked and you couldn't get through so I guess we'll find out oh we're we coming out of the tunnel it's so bright hey we're outside again it got brighter I guess we made it through the tunnel which means we're almost there. At this rate, you'll let the murderer escape. Can't be much further ahead, chill. More shaking? What is it this time? Master, you gotta hurry! The next train car is the fifth one. This train has five cars in total, so this is the last one. Oh, but... But you can't access the fifth car. The one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. The yeah, door was supposed things. to be broken, right? Master, you better hurry! Chill. Hey, it opened. Was it repaired? It's been wrecked. What Damn. happened here? I came everywhere. Master, look over there! Wait, there can't be a fifth corpse. Because that would mean everyone except me is dead. So hysterical. Even I'm getting confused now. Anyway, time to investigate. Alright, let's make sure this is the uh, Apex. This isn't a fake. It's a real corpse, isn't it? Kind of hard to tell, though. It is, without a single doubt, the bona fide remains of a human. I'm positive about that. I specialize in corpses, after all. Uh, I'll check for signs of life, just I in don't case. Know. No, he's completely dead. Huh? His necklace looks familiar. Wait, it's the same one Aphex was wearing. Hmm. Looking at the body type of the corpse, it matches the guy with the short fuse. His face is burned beyond recognition, but could this really be Aphex? I don't know, maybe. You might find it unbelievable, but it seems like it. So his cause of death was also fire? Yeah, I don't see any other external trauma. 
with the knife that was in Zilch. Wait, there's an injury on his chest. So he was stabbed, and why? Wait, so Zilch? Why? Hold on. Is this Zilch and the other one? Was, no, because we saw Zilch before his fucking body went all combusted. Hey, you're right. I'm surprised you noticed. Is it a stab wound? Looks like he was pierced with a blade. If that's the case, was he stabbed to death? No, he could have been incapacitated by the stabbing and then burned. That's what I was saying about the first one. Like, was the knife or the fire the cause of death it's for, I guess, both of these? It's to determine the cause of death with what we have. Oh? You've gone full throttle in this investigation. Good job! To me, for being your mentor. <laughs> but why Aphex? Mm. Yep, this corpse is real, too. So this is the other infirmary. This is... Hey! Huh? What's this? What is it? Did you find something? The interior lock is open right now, but... There's something odd about the latch. Look! There appears to be oh. blood on it. Hmm? So maybe oh, he right. was stabbed and then set on fire to finish him off? Let me try to slide it. That's a blood stain, all right. But why is blood there? Stabbed in here and then ended up out there. It seems the blood got on there while the door was locked. That's evidence of something for sure. No harm keeping it in mind. Sure but hope you got all that down. Another burned bed. Is... Hmm? Hmm. Is that blood on the wall over there? Or on the walls? Huh? Past all this, the restroom is in terrible shape. God damn, the what the cracked fuck happened in this set. car? Jesus Christ, there's no one inside. Down the hallway once we got in here. Let's see, yeah, yeah, there's one. Huh? That's weird. This area seems more burnt somehow. Is this backwards? Is this really car one? Oh, this is car one, isn't it? Because somebody switched all the nameplates. So this is car number one, not number five. So we've been working our way to the first car and not to the fifth car. Maybe there was something flammable in there. See, look there. There are traces of something that got burned. Is that some sort of plate displaying the train car number? But why is this the only one completely burnt? It doesn't seem particularly flammable. It says main control room A. It's no use. It won't open. There's a driver's seat in there, but I don't see anyone. It's a map of the train.
it says main control room B. It's no use. It won't open. There's a driver's seat in there, but I don't see anyone. The autonomous driving device is there, but not on. That makes sense to why the other one is on that we hey, already Master, were in. Master, maybe someone's hiding in there. Any way you can bust it open? I don't think so. The door looks too sturdy. Also, I don't think it's possible for someone to be hiding in there. Apex and Pucci both said that there were only six people on the train. So, including me, there can only be six of us here. Or maybe, maybe my hunch was wrong is that they were both lying and it turns out both of their lies were actually lies and there was a seventh person. Hmm, I see. Why are there two control rooms in a single train car? They probably have control rooms so it can go in either direction. Yep. This is the last car for where we're heading, but it'll be the front car on the way back. Oh, well, now that you mention it, there is a control room in the front train car too. It won't open, Oops. but this is the last train car. There's nowhere else to go from here. Alright. Thank you for choosing the Amaterasu Express Direct to Kanai Ward. We are approaching Kanai Ward. Please mind your belongings. Master, we are almost at the station! You have to catch the culprit! What do you want us to do? Catch who? Everyone besides me is dead! Are you sure it's everyone? Calm down and count again! Zilch in car one, Melami in car two, Pucci in car three, Zange in car four, and Aphex in car five. And then obviously us. See? That's five. Everyone besides me is dead. That makes you the only possible killer master. Did you do it? I like the little arrow, uh, the little arrow ears. Shinigami's go got going. No, right. that's not possible. But I can't say for certain. I lost my memories, and now I'm seeing a death god. There's something wrong with me. You were what passed out for two hours? Shinigami death said. Death gods are said to reap human souls. Maybe because I'm being haunted by one. Maybe subconsciously, I. We are approaching Kanai Ward. Please watch your step while exiting the train. Huh? Oh yeah, investigation. I thought just everything was finished. All right, just the investigation portion. <laughs> Yeah, game over for roll, roll credits. We've arrived! What's it gonna be, huh? What are you gonna do? Pretend to be I, dead. I don't know. Huh? What? This looks bad! Step out of it! Run! Run? But... <sighs> Master, those guys from before are still on the platform. Why is this happening to me? So confused. Ah, they're coming in. We gotta go. Out the front. I wonder if Master can even oh, make snap fuck. judgments. Right, find yourself at a pinch during the course of detective work. Follow on all oh, quick time events. Joy, my favorite. Master doesn't make mistakes. Right? 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 Who are these people? The police? They're not your friends, that much is for sure. Considering the state of the crime scene, they're totally gonna pin it on you. Makes sense. But
I'm I'm on Xbox, not Nintendo. Oh! I've, I've been playing so much Overwatch. Yeah, it's how it be sometimes. I can arrest you! Run! I didn't say which trigger that time, I hit them both. Or which was analog, what was stick. <laughs> Listen to me. I can explain. Huh. What's that to talk about? You're a master detective of the WDO, aren't oh, you? Got a shiny jacket. The name's Swank Katsunel. I'm with the Amaterasu Corporation's Beastkeeper. Hey, Swank. Amaterasu Corporation peacekeepers? Don't act like you don't know. You're a WBO detective for crying out I loud. I don't need you. Or are you some sort of imposter? No, I'm not. I think. You think? Well, I don't care either way. What's about to happen has already been decided. I like the cigar smoke is changing. Which is? The peacekeepers are the defenders of law and executioners in Kanai Ward. If the unjust wander into my space, they will be eliminated. Oh no, eliminated? I'm gonna be eliminated. Hey, isn't Kanai Ward under the complete control of Amaterasu? Meaning, these people are like the police here. Police? But it's just some company security department. Hey, who are you talking to? All right, you're the only one who can see me, thanks to our contract, Master. It's a bit cliche at this point, huh? <laughs> Don't laugh, help me! I'll ask again, who do you think you're talking to, huh? Talk about suspicious. I'm sorry. Tell me how you're gonna explain this situation. I don't think you're gonna believe me. We prepared that trip to welcome you all here. But an internal fight sprawling into a bloodbath was unexpected. It, it's not what it looks like. There's a perfectly logical explanation behind uh, this. I, 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 you know what I don't. You're the culprit. Huh? Well, that was direct. Try your best to beat him. I don't know. No, I really don't know anything. Everyone was killed while I was asleep. I don't think so. While the other detectives were asleep, you killed them. There's proof. There's the coffee and wine. What the? They were spiked. Oh, that's why I passed out then. It wasn't because of Shinigami, it's because of the tear the coffee was spiked. We found coffee from Melanie? Dining car. When we checked the second car earlier, I had a subordinate drink it. You can see what happened. Can't even think that. Looks like some sort of knockout drug was mixed in. Which means 
You drugged the other detectives and killed them while they were passed out. Wait, does, does that mean Melamy was trying to save me? She did measure me and said she believed that I was part of the detectives. Wow, he may just be a lowly grunt, but he knows his stuff. He could be trouble. Why do you sound so impressed? So did you figure out the cause of death? Yes, they all burned to death. Huh? All of them? So the stab, what about the stab wounds on? How cruel of you to kill him like that. What's your end game in this? Is it money or is it money? <laughs> If it's money, then hand over everything you swiped. I promise I'll show mercy to your wallet. <laughs> he just wants money. That's no fair. <laughs> I'm not the culprit. Yes, you are. You're the culprit. No, I... I'm not the perpetrator. But do I know that for sure? In this situation, who else besides me could have done it? There were without a doubt only six people on the train, and five of them were killed. So the only possibility is... One of them's still alive. Just admit it! I know you're the culprit! What if Melamy used her, like, used her makeup and shit to disguise herself like she was burned to death? Cause she's the only one that wasn't burned in a bed or something. And I noticed she was like very confined to where the burning happened in that room. What am I supposed to do? Admit it now! You're guilty! Am I the killer? Come on, confess! <sighs> Maybe it's better if I confess for now. It could be better to get through this now, and get some time to think about it. Why confess if you didn't do it? Master, you're an idiot! Uh. Dumb bull kill you! Huh? You heard me? I didn't say it out loud. There you go again, talking to yourself. You must be crazy or something. I hear your thoughts, too. I told you we share the same mind and body. Anyway, never mind that. Why are you giving up already? Well, there's nothing I can do. Wrong. The mystery solving has just begun. Why did you make a contract with me to begin with? Huh? What do you mean? Stop talking to yourself, you unstable psycho! <laughs> Bring him down, men! Confiscate anything of value he has while you're at it. All right, you know how to do that. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, don't sound so pitiful! I'll show you what I'm made of right now! Come on, master! Your mind is body right! What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is going on? Hot. <gasps> what is this? What's happening? All right. Can't say I saw a magical girl. Death God transformation. What's this? What's going on? Ah, who are you? What do you mean? I've been with you the entire time. Wait, you're Shinigami? Oh, right. Guess you can't tell because I'm not puppy anymore. 
I can only access the mystery labyrinth if I'm at full power, so I had to change forms. But some parts of me are still nice and puffy. <laughs> it's true. Want to touch? Fuck. Uh, I'm okay. Come on, dude. Anyway, what's going on? Oh, it's like little boop. time has stopped. Probably because it has. And what's that hole? No, you can't ask that a lady hole that. Is connected to the mystery labyrinth. Mystery labyrinth? You'll find out when you enter. Come on, let's go. Wait, you have to tell me. What's a mystery labyrinth? You're about to find out. A sick kick, honestly. Nah, you might spoil yourself. I wouldn't do that. Hey, look, we finally saved. We'll do the old double save. Alright, let's go. Let's continue into the labyrinth. Let's put all the elephants. Let's put the sphinx head with the skull. What? Why? Is this Vegas? Why do I got a chain? Why do I got a chain leash on me? Why do I got a cloak? What's happening? Where am I? Is this where the death god what do you lives? Think of my awesome powers? This is what you obtained in exchange for your memories, Master. Ah. You did this, Shinigami? Is this why I made a pact with you? I don't understand any of this. Where are we? Yeah, we went into day off, but they brought us in today instead of giving us the day off. Hmm. Or Simply put, it's an alternate universe. Well, it's got that kind of vibe, right? Mm, very alternate, I can tell. Alternate universe. Yeah, that's why I'm streaming today. You don't sound surprised. Come on, it's awesome! You'd probably think it's cliched, huh? Well, this isn't any old alternate universe. We'll see how long it takes to finish up Chapter Zero. Check this out! But I am very much already enjoying this. Cause it went from pretty, it, it, it went from fucking, it, I'm gonna take a second to stretch right quick, give me a second. But it went from fucking, ugh, it went from zero to fucking anime real quick. Real quick it went from zero to anime. <laughs> Ta-da! This is the mystery labyrinth. It's a maze that materializes mysteries from the real world. Materializes mysteries? Unsolved mysteries become lost to time, right? Well, here, they actually take shape as a mystery labyrinth. Oh. Now, this maze is the materialized form of the unsolved murders that took place on the Amaterasu Express. So if we go through here, we can work our way back on who did what. Get down, you, this is a band-aid. You can't have the band-aid. You're a cat. Don't, if you bite the band-aid, I'm throwing you out of this room. Don't do it. Don't do it. The hell wrong with you, Aurora? The hell wrong with you, kitty cat? This maze is the mystery? I have the power to interact with this mystery labyrinth. Hey, there's fireworks going on. That's why you were able to come here in the first oh, place. That's true. Anyway. Ah, uh, y'all can't hear him. Hell yeah, so I can just keep talking. Master, we're no, hey, 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 get, 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 mystery labyrinth. Dude, she went right for it when she thought I wasn't looking. 
What happens when we beat it? In every case, there's a hidden truth. And we have to find the truth deep inside this mystery labyrinth. Oh, 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 Mink, she is. So, if we beat this mystery labyrinth, the truth of that case will be revealed. By the way, I think it's pretty cool that this. Oh my god, your tongue is huge, Shinigami. Holy fuck. Naturally, so will the true identity of the killer. Now, Shinigami's got that fucking thing. Junko smile, by the way, going on a we'll little bit. The I guess makes sense. Too? You know, Death God. Trickster. You couldn't solve it in reality, so we're solving it in this alternate universe. They're two sides of the same coin. But whether or not you discover the truth depends on the person entering the labyrinth. The more complex the mystery is in the real world, the more complex the maze will be, too. Mm, okay. Killers in real world cases throw whatever obstacles they can at investigators, right? Those are also materialized into the maze, so this is gonna be a tough battle. It's kinda cool. So you're saying there are traps in there? Yep. Looks like you're finally getting it. Now that I've explained it all, let's head into the dungeon. Hell yeah. Oh, hold on. I, I don't understand any of this. Nah, we'll just do it, Numa. Come on. Seriously, you don't get it? Uh, a mystery labyrinth is a maze based on a real mystery. Yep. This one is formed from the murder on the Amaterasu Express. Yep. Yep, you're right so far. So, if there's always a hidden truth inside a mystery labyrinth... We'll figure out what we happened on going, the train if we get to the end of the labyrinth. The Amaterasu Express case will be solved? Yup, you totally get it! What? I don't get anything! This makes no logical sense! We're standing on a Vegas strip packed onto a pyramid with fucking a death god. What logic this is, is there why right you're now? a bench warmer detective. You're in an alternate universe and hung up on details. Shinigami really likes the sports references and metaphors. Of course I am! Okay, uh, I'll explain more about how it works as we explore the mystery labyrinth. If you have any more questions along the way, stare at my boobs for eight seconds. <laughs> Hell yeah! Yeah, well do! Oh, consent given, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. That'll make all your worries disappear. No, it won't. Please explain everything now. Relax, relax. I'll tell you in due time. Come on, let's go. Time to unriddle this mystery labyrinth. Sorry, I forgot to mention the important keys. Let's see. Keys? You mean for opening doors in the dungeon? Yeah, something like that, but keys in the mystery labyrinth are used to break through mysteries. Inconclusive. Gay people love boobs just as much as straight people love boobs. So that they alone is a factor. Keys, and they're essential to clear the mystery labyrinth. So... Where do I find them? Solution keys are materialized clues for a case. Normally, you'd get them during the investigation. Also, he never said he wouldn't stay. You kinda had to rush through the investigation this time around, so let's briefly review the case. For starters, try to recall all that happened on board the Amaterasu Express. The Amaterasu Express? Uh... He's wearing a cloak. The Amaterasu Express is the only method of transportation in Kanai War. Recap! It's an automated, unmanned train with five cars. Its doors won't open while in motion, and windows are fixed in place. So if you weren't here at the start, here's your recap. There were no stops before our destination, so the train kept moving until it arrived at the station. A monitor in the backup control room displays the operation log. And there was no record of the train stopping. Yeah! All right, chill. How about some Here's warning, Pukey? Any 
allowed Trey to not stop once after the. Are, we, are you sure the power went out? Maybe. What if it stopped when the power was out, though, for a second? So this Isn't is that like a, a minute or something. Key. But why did it come out of your mouth? Mm, what do you mean? So I don't have to use my hands. I worked really hard developing this method. What the fuck did that <laughs> All right. You put thought into this. So that's how words and events you think are clues get transformed into solution keys. Just kind of puke them up. Let's keep reviewing like a, what happened like in this a case. Mother and a baby bird, I guess. All right, I'll do my best. Uh, the incident occurred inside the Amaterasu Express while it was still moving. Yep. Including myself, there were six master detectives on board. Apex and Poochie's abilities confirmed there were no other passengers on the train. Yep, the hearing uh, with the heartbeat. She found us and nobody else, and he did his radar thing, and yeah, but nobody else was sensed. And who died first again? We don't know. He was Zilch in the first car's infirmary. Well, that's who we found first. Doesn't mean that's who died first, right? I noticed smoke pouring through the crack of the door, and looking through the window, I saw a knife stuck in Zilch's chest. The infirmary was on fire, so smoke quickly filled the whole area. I hurried to open the door, but it wouldn't budge because it was locked. That mean this was a locked room mystery? <sighs> Not really. There's a chance the killer had a duplicate key. Mm, that's no fun. <laughs> anyway, I broke the door's window and unlocked the door from the inside to enter the infirmary. By then, Zilch's corpse had burnt to a crisp. I wanted to alert the others, so I moved to the second car. But I found Melanie's corpse there. I think she was set on fire with the liquor in the dining car. Ooh, a flambe! A human flambe! That reminds me, something was off about car two, right before the train entered the tunnel. Yeah, the light went out. There was a strange shaking. Isn't that from entering the tunnel? It's like air pressure, uh, wind stuff. I don't know. And there was a blackout right after, although it only lasted a moment. Yeah, what was up with that blackout? Was there one on the other side of the tunnel too? No, when we exited the tunnel, there was shaking again, but no blackout. What if we ended up back where we started somehow and we didn't notice? There was something else, too. We turned around. Something that happens when we were in the fourth car. Hmm. I wonder if that's a clue. And we're not in Kainai at all. And the next course was the little girl in the third car? Poochie, yep. Yeah, it was Poochie. Another burnt body. Just like the first two cars. Wasn't there a secret base thing in the third car? You mean the backup control system? I remember something about that. The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system after one That's second. That's what I've been saying for eight years. You may have amnesia, but you've got a pretty good memory. Anything else you can remember? I did notice that the backup control system was actually operating. Because the main one went down for a second. Just put two and two together for me, Yuma. I've been saying this for a while. If the backup was on, that means the main system was down, right? What do you think about that? Well, the train never stopped, so it doesn't change the fact that no one could get in or out, right? I mean, that's true too, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Next, you found the geezer's corpse in the fourth car, no. right? He was also covered in ferns. Was there anything strange about that corpse? He didn't have any external wounds. 
but he was holding the cell phone he uses for his photography ability. Maybe he transferred what he saw somewhere? I don't know. Oh yeah, that useless ability. It's basically no better than a dash cam. <laughs> anyway, forget about the geezer for now. Don't want that old man smell haunting my memories. <laughs> Very much a uh, dang and romper writing. Uh, I'm here for this. Next and last is the fifth car. Come on, try to remember very it. Dark sense of humor. The body we found in the fifth car was completely charred. It was impossible to tell who it was. But the necklace around the corpse's neck confirmed it was Aphex. We also discovered a stab wound to the chest. Also, judging by things like the plate on the wall, the fifth car appeared to be far more burnt than the other cars. The fifth car was fucked. Maybe the room ended up like that because the victim was on fire and running around trying to put it out. They were running around fucking everywhere then. Oh, and the blood on the interior lock of the fifth car's infirmary is an important clue, I think. I think Zilch was in this one. Uh-huh. So, I guess that does it for our review. I don't know how I got to the front, the other one, but I think Zilch was in this one. Wait, Who knows? there was something else. After the train arrived at the station, according to the Peacekeeper's reports, they all burned to death. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Two of them had fucking stab wounds, though. We saw Zilch with a knife in there, and we saw fucking... Uh, the... 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 the the, the Aphex with a big stab wound to Reaper, what up? But that part seems off to me. I don't think Zelda died from the fire. And they also mentioned there was a knockout drug mixed into the drinks in the dining car. Well, yeah, that's what happened to me at the very least. Yeah, I think that's everything of note. Oh. Yeah, what up, Reaper? I'm doing well. Welcome to YouTube. <gasps> ah, she's puking again. Oh, mine. What her. a big catch! This should be enough solution keys to solve it. But I still don't know how to use them. I assume once we're in the labyrinth thing, we'll figure it Master, out. Master, you worry too much. I'm sure it'll turn out fine. That's what I've been saying. Solution keys are important to solving mysteries. Yours truly is important too. Solution key is a manifestation of clues related to a case. You can acquire or update one by investigating the case and moving the story sure along. Sure, hope you got all that down. Acquired solution keys can be viewed in the notebook menu. Try checking one up. Mystery labyrinth comes too difficult to solve. <laughs> too difficult to solve. Look who you're talking to. I'll be fine. It's the first case. Shinigami's tutorial. Wow. Labyrinth skills are abilities that help you m clear mystery labyrinths. Acquire them by spending skill points, which you get when you're detected. Oh, I know. Good thing I've been looking at everything. Hey, right. Master. Do you need oh, a Oh, we got a skill tree in this game. Oh, no. I got a min max. But yeah, hopefully you're streaming well earlier, Reaper. Set whichever skills suit you best. Is this like, it's like, is this like Let's per labyrinth, or is this just like I get it forever once I use it? Will things really turn out fine? I mean, could be going to jail or burping. Dude, they are going out there. Oh. So, Colorful. this is the mystery labyrinth. It sure looks creepy. Hey, if we keep going, will we really get to the truth? Come on, would I lie to you? Maybe. I told you the deepest part of the labyrinth holds the truth, right? So, let's go. I'm so horny for mysteries right now. 
<laughs> I mean, should I? Aren't we all, I guess? Who's the horny for mysteries, Chad? Zoink, Scoob, I'm, I'm horny. <laughs> How far are you in now? On the old Spidey. Have you played it before? I don't remember if you played through it before. Have you done it off stream before? You're... what? <laughs> Better write this down. Playable loop. There are places in Mystery Eleven where the patch just goes on and on. You can't move until the scene plays out. So keep following the path until it does. Alright, okay, hold on. I, I gotta Come go through on, this. Pay attention. Check. You better not be scared, Master. Do you need a power Five set? Whichever skill is Oh, you played on release. You finished Act 1? Okay. Oh, look at me. That's me. I got a hat. Look at my boat hat. Well, I mean, might as well. I got four SP, right? Yeah, why wouldn't I accept it? Uh, and what the fuck is reasoning that? Oh, these are gonna be all the uh, all the mini games. Okay, okay, okay. You might as well take them all, right? Get the first line done and go from there. Alright. You definitely want to remember this. So this is all the puke keys we have. So I'm guessing this whole maze is akin to the trial we're trying to unravel from, you know, a dangan game if we're if we're play if we're if we're drawing parallels. Likes Yuma just oh it's still the same. She's not gonna be true form, personality's no different. She can open a path to a mystery labyrinth. She has many special abilities and aiding in solving it. Oh, I guess we're gonna have what's his face now too. Yeah, they're all dead as shit. Wait, what was his update? I don't know what his update was. Tab wound, I guess. But I don't think that was an update, is it? There you go. There's Swank. Cast them out. Oh, they're all dead as shit. They're all dead as fuck. People are like, likes fatty sterling steak, dislikes fish. Remember the corporate peacekeepers? He loves money as much as he loves eating. He laughs the misfortunes of others and, and abuses authority. That ah, makes sense. <laughs> I don't know where that last glossary one is. Actually, I'm going to save right quick. I haven't saved in a minute. Alright, let's do our first mystery labyrinth, I guess. Oh god, what the fuck? Oh, wait. Alright, well I guess we're going. I'm so confused. the fuck is going on bro my brain so they just said keep running until we get to the destination I guess so fuck it okay here we go hey did something move just now everything's moving Yuma what are you what, what's wrong with you do I need to like turn am I like no I guess I'm just going I'm so confused Oh, 
I'll just keep holding forward until something happens. Oh, that's a cue. Cue? Is that a monster living in the mystery labyrinth? They're not exactly monsters. You are part of the mystery labyrinth itself. They're what you oh, are. Since you are here to defeat mysteries, they're kind of like obstacles. Oh. So in other words, they're the enemy. Of course, as a detective seeking the truth, mysteries are your greatest enemy. Hey, it worked a change finally. So that new door that looks abstract as hell. Oh, what's that? Where are you? Oh, you're adorable! Less adorable as you grow. Hey, look, is that what's his face? The the guy? Yo, your tongue wild, and why are you gyrate? What the? There are monsters here. That's a mystery phantom. A mystery phantom? What's that? I told you that cues make mysteries materialize, right? Well, if there's someone in the real world trying to interfere with the case, that person I thought also it looked materializes. Like fat guy, I already forgot his name with the cigar. That's a mystery phantom. Interfering with the case? Hey, doesn't he kind of look like Swank of the That's Peacekeepers? If the Peacekeepers are tied up in this, then maybe this incident has something to do with Amaterasu Corporation. Oh, I'm... Not in there, and we have no pause in this train. You're the culprit. Mystery Phantom Swank. He's got a huh? name. What are you doing? Why you got a fist? Why you got a fist? What are you doing? Why, why you got a fire fist? Why are you posing? Since all the other passengers on the train are dead, you're the only who could have done the crime? I'm not gonna incept you. Though. So you're the culprit. That's the truth behind this case. How are you talking with your tongue hanging out like that? It's impressive. Master, he's trying to frame you to bury the case. If you can't get past this, you can't reach the truth. What do I do? Should I just run away? To give your life for the truth? Sure. Bug it. Huh? Bug it. Just say, I am. Say, I am. I, I am. Mini game time? <laughs> Dancing, baby. Dead. Uh -huh. Hi, this is a fetish. What the fuck is going on? What? A sword? I call it the Solution Blade. It's a sword with special powers to affect things inside the Mystery Labyrinth. Use that to boom kill the Mystery Phantom! Let's do this! I do like the terminology boom kill she's been using. Whoa, slow down. No, no, no. I this? pulled the sword out. It's fine. It's different. I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. Anyway. The damage you take here is nothing to sniff at. It's not like an injury in the real world, but still. The more and more your mind realizes.
realizes you've been hurt here, oh boy, you'll wind up brain dead. It'll be game Already over. There. To start from the beginning again. Oh, I've been doing this for three hours. I don't want to do three hours again. No one wants that. So you better be super careful. Come on, pay attention. Perhaps an obstacle lion waits inside the mystery labyrinth to make a mistake while facing the master stamina with his priest. Game over uh, when stamina runs out, so be careful you uncover the truth. Alright, I fuck it. Let's go! I don't know what we're doing. What we're doing. I like this uh arc. Oh hell yeah, baby! Reasoning Deathmatch. Uh, during the Reasoning Deathmatch, the RDM, a mystery fan, will attack Master while making statements about the case. Dodge, dodge, duck, dodge. Dodge, dodge, duck, dodge. I get that reference. Being hit by a statement means taking damage and move up, down, left, and right to avoid it. Avoid it. Come on, pay dodge. attention. If you dodge a statement at the very last second, it becomes a daring dodge. The more daring dodges you make, the bigger bonus you'll get later, so give it a shot if you got the guts. Don't you forget. Uh, bonus for successful daring dodges is based on the max amount you can dodge in one cycle. Basically, there's a cap on how much you can get. Don't let any shady statement slip by. Inflammable statements give you a chance to counterattack. Statements might contain a contradiction. Smash through it with the solution blade and fight back against the phantom. Master doesn't make mistakes. If you a contradiction, right. you gotta put right. the right solution. Right. He's already set in the solution blade this time, so find the contradictory inflammable statement and slash it. Uh, if you slash a statement containing a contradiction with the right solution key, you'll destroy it and damage the mission. Oh. Picking the wrong solution key or missing the timing means taking damage. Just some friendly advice from yours truly. All right. Coffee. No need to try this out. You're the culprit behind I hit the thing. Oh. You murdered five bastard detectives. That's the only explanation. I hit up. Dead. You're the only one who could have done the crime. Am I stupid? What do I do? I mean, I am stupid. But what? Uh, uh, no need to try this out. So I have to. I'm using the fucking. Dude, I'm jumping to the like, timing. Detectives. That's the only explanation. Everyone else is dead. You're the only one who could have done the crime. I'll slash through this mystery. I'll slash through this mystery. That's what we're yelling this time around, baby. Drink the coffee, no, dingus. There's no way I could have done it. I wasn't conscious the whole time because I drank the drugged coffee in the dining car. It's no use. Your deduction is wrong. That I drank the coffee? You were out the whole time. Looks like there are more solution keys. The number of keys will change between RDM. Use the correct key and slash with the contradiction. You better not be skimming over this. Tag with the wrong solution key means taking damage. So be careful. Ridiculous. What do we have? What do we have? The testimony of the two detectives and the image saved on. Oh yeah, I, the, the, that that proves that I took the shit. Give me. Gillis, you're the culprit. You knew it was drunk. That's how you avoided being knocked out. I know. The other detectives were drugged. And you went around killing them all. You're busted. Oh, fuck that. Took the laced coffee and only pretended to drink it. There's, there's a picture of me doing it, dingus wingus. Have, oh, thank you, thank you for the birthday. As long 
this photography footage Not my birthday, but thank coffee. you. That proves I wasn't faking anything. Yeah, I'm starting I'm starting to think of it. So add something else to fuck me up. Oh, is that it? Oh, now, now we can run through the labyrinth again, or? Did I defeat it? Guess for now. See? No matter how weak you are, things will turn out fine, as All long right. as I'm here. Alright. He tried to frame me as the culprit. Guess that's what Amaterasu Corp is doing. They want to set you up and call it a day. That's why the peacekeepers like barged crown. in as soon as the train hit the station. Her they crown looks like a cityscape. So they knew what was going to happen. Then the culprit works for Amaterasu? Or someone hired by them. Either way, the peacekeepers want to hide who did it. So the reason Control Headquarters didn't respond to the emergency calls was because of Amaterasu. Probably. Now that we know what they're aiming for, we're one step closer to the truth. Let's keep this up and unriddle this mystery labyrinth so we can get to the truth. You're awfully casual about this. My life is at stake here. Technically, well, she's connected to your life, so she does have a bit of a... I understand say. now that the mystery labyrinth is the case's mysteries given shape. What do you do here, Shinigami? God, I wish I had auto fucking advance. Simply put, I'm the one and only cutie that can directly interact with the mystery labyrinth. Can I run backwards? Oh shit, I can. I don't know why I want to. It's like a soul, kind of? Well, this is a death god and I have, quote, amnesia. For, okay. From what I've been told by the Death God here, Shinigami, is that I gave up my memories to form a pact with her. And yes, boobs. Also boobs. Is it? Kind of? No, she, no they know. They know. Progress you've made in the mystery labyrinth and solving those mysteries here. It's all thanks to me. Thanks, Shinigami. How are you able to do this? You're the god of death. I don't know what to tell you. I've always been able to do this, so I forgot how. More importantly, you got drugged and knocked out. You are so pitiful, Master. Alright. No wonder you're waddling around like a toddler. You're a toddler. I thought I was dizzy because I've got this weird ghost thing haunting me. Huh? Making a pact with me won't make you dizzy. That just reduces your lifespan by a lot. <laughs> you're kidding, right? <laughs> right? Good old ellipses. Anyway, who do you think is the culprit, Master? You have any guesses? I'm still, I'm still going with my gut that it's Zilch. Um, if the drinks were drugs in the dining car, the culprit must have been on the train before anyone else. I'm back on the Zilch train. Oh, so then all you have to do is ask around and figure out what order everyone got on board. Well, I don't know. It's kind of a little late for that. Oh, wait a minute. You can't! Aren't taking this very seriously, are Hey. Auto save. Hmm. That's a funky door. That's a lot of goop. This place. Oh, it looks Whoa. sick. The path is forked in two. Bro, Which way should I go? Abstract art. It's like Pee Wee's Playhouse on anime on fucking acid. This fork in the path is also a materialized mystery. So, you should know which way to go if you solve it. First, 
Let's clarify what mystery this is exactly. Who so killed everybody? Huh? Uh, how do you do that? Like this. Oh, six sides. Huh? Oh, I'm dead as shit inside the. Ah! Blood! Blood! Quit overreacting, Master. This is a mystery labyrinth. It's fine. Anyway, take a look. I used the blood of the truth seeker as a conduit to expose the mystery blocking the path. Is the culprit one of the six on the train? I think it is still. Is that a question? It's gotta be, right? That's the mystery standing in your way. You just need to pick the right path and head on through. Six on the train. It must mean the six master detectives, including me, right? If I don't think the culprit is among the six on the train, then I should take the right path, which says no. But if I think the culprit is one of the six on the board, I need to take the left path that says yes. There's no reason to be doing this case at all right now or trying to figure it out if it wasn't one of the six on board. Hmm. What? There's only one truth! Question relating to the case are asked in different forms inside the labyrinth. Choose the correct answer is to take me to the truth. Then... Master? Oh, I gotta hit A. Oh, I gotta... So, you think the culprit is one of the... Yep. Right here. Okay, let's go. Does this mean I'm right? How? It, I. I mean, that's kind of cool if you don't know if you're right. If they're fuck. If you're answering these, or maybe I'll just like know right now. Can I go through now? Oh, you got it right. Not bad at all, Master. Yeah, <laughs> my noodles working. Oh, he's back. Ah! Something happened. Why? Did I make the wrong choice? It's trying to bury the truth again. Go get him, Master. On it, boss. I hope these change throughout the cases. As when you do detectives. Your deduction is wrong! Other than the six on the train, you must have oh, had an accomplice. On. This is the truth! There's nobody else on the train. We already did Two master this. detectives used their abilities to prove that only six people were on the train. I'm still impressed that he's talking just fine with his tongue hanging out like that. To be if honest. it was only one person, they could have been lying or an imposter. But two of them means there can be no mistake. Wrong! Your reasoning is completely off. I like this guy. This guy is just like re <laughs> reasoning wrong. Nope. <laughs> nah, can't be. <laughs> Peacekeeper does the board operation. What good does that test? So, all the victims burn to death and the train did not stop. The only thing you can do. Your accomplice just wasn't there when those two checked. You came aboard after that. So what if the windows don't open? While well, everyone was locked out, you secretly stopped the truth. Train and let your partner board. No, the train didn't stop. Oh. 
backup control room's operation log showed that the train never stopped. And the doors won't open unless the train stops. So it's impossible for someone to have gotten on during the trip. Yeah, that's also why I thought that somebody on board was the person I had to kill. Yeah, yeah. My noodle is working, baby. My noodle is cooking. Looks like you're getting the hang of this, Master. I am a little Learn bit. Learn to ruthlessly cut down any who stand in your way. You make it sound like I'm the bad guy here. All our keys are puked, too. That's why you started puking when you came in. Hey, I was wondering... If oh, the mystery labyrinth oh, is trying to what? block people from seeking the truth, wouldn't it reject my answers even if they're right? Or maybe the questions themselves could be lies. Maybe they know the truth deep down and that's why I can't repeat them? No chance. A mystery labyrinth has no self-will. It can't lie or create things not based on the real world mystery. Yeah. This place is a direct manifestation of a mystery. You can always progress as long as you keep solving it. I do like her outfit. Very, uh, sense, very god. Let's, let's go to bed, dear. Yeah, what up, KB? You're having a good day. Welcome, welcome. I see. That's a relief. By the way. Without the culprit being one of the six of you, how could the culprit commit the crime when all the other passengers besides you were dead? Very careful. Tell me that door. Oh yeah, that's a little different. That's a lot of balls. Going in the balls. Oh, they're planets. <laughs> What's this? Where, oh, it's a loading screen. What are we looking at here? Alright, new room in this crazy Another place. Another fork in the road. Okay. Looks like ice cream and a hand. This is how we reach the truth. It reflects how problems are really solved. This is like Rocco's Modern Life on even more acid. Well, I don't know if I've ever actually solved a mystery on my own. But you do. I let me know. Remember it all. You have my memory. It doesn't matter. You just need to solve the mystery in front of us. I guess that's fair. Everyone was dead, so how did the culprit pull it off? Say. I've been thinking play dead. I've been thinking that. Like, I'm wondering if Zilch did it and didn't mean to, like, set himself on fire or something. Or the opposite. Aphex did it and didn't mean to set himself on fire. Because Aphex had that knife wound and was clearly fucking fucked to death. And maybe that's why Zilch had the knife in his chest. He wasn't dead, but somehow caught on fire. I don't know how he caught on fire. I'm going with played dead. Yeah. Come on. That's what I was huh? thinking too before you moved. Uh I guess maybe if they were a spy, that was what they were told to do, was to fucking kill everybody and then kill themselves so nobody could solve it. Oh, I got it! Master, leave this to me. This has to be the right answer. I mean, I was, I was thinking it wasn't Zilch, on. Hey, wait! <laughs> that fucking face. Dead. We need the chain. I'm I'm walking with you, dear. Because if they did commit suicide after the crime, they'd be dead right now. Oh, 
are they not? And that's no fun at all. I had to. Your reasoning? Wait, what's this chain? I told you we share mind and body. The chain is proof of that. Oh. Okay. Our relationship can never be broken apart. Yeah, like That's you know, when, like a spy does it and has like the capsule of cyanide or whatever in their teeth and crunches it or whatever. You know that cliche. Please, you should consider yourself lucky. You're being haunted by a cutie like me. Her twin tails are wild and poo. I'm so tired. I pulled you up here. So you can walk the rest of the way yourself. Well, I was already walking. I didn't ask you to do that. Gotta get the jiggle physics, baby. I thought you were tired, miss. I'm gonna run so ahead. So you think this path will lead toward the truth? Oh, thank right? God I don't have to fucking hit A. No idea. This is a labyrinth. Honestly, all of them should be like this. Whoa, watch out! Well, that's not good. So they're not alive. So they did commit suicide afterwards. You see? What did I tell you? Dead end. So it was the unfun route. Don't sound so proud of yourself. You chose this path, Shinigami. Hmm. If it's a dead end, maybe the culprit wasn't just going Hell is indeed on one. I searched all five bodies, and they were, without a doubt, dead. Oh, so the answer isn't fully dead. Let's turn back. Thanks, dear. Uh, you changed your mind already? Exploring all possibilities is an important part of beating a mystery labyrinth. Yes, that's true. <laughs> I'm so awesome. Ah, right, fair enough. <sighs> Oh, now she's gonna be even more tired because now I gotta double back. By the way, I did say I can guide you through the mystery labyrinth. But I'm not that good at solving mysteries. Clearly. You could have said that a little earlier. I just wanna help. I like when you rely on me, Master. Anyway, what's going on in the real world while we're in the mystery that. labyrinth? Time has stopped on the other side. We're sort of set apart from the normal flow of time while we're here. In other words, you're still surrounded by peacekeepers. So if we return without solving the mystery, we'll just be captured. As a result, this murder case will remain unsolved and linger in people's memories as a serious crime. Naturally, this mystery labyrinth will also survive. And that creates an even bigger problem. Which is? Leaving a case unsolved means that it will go down in history that way. The more bizarre a mystery is, the more it attracts people's interest. And the more people rack their brains about that mystery, the bigger the mystery labyrinth gets. Eventually, the mystery labyrinth would gain enough power to start affecting the real world. It would implant insidious ideas into people's minds. Conspiracy theories! And in turn, new mystery labyrinths. And copycats. Labyrinths all that can create stuff. endless cycles. That's why it's best to cut it off as soon as possible. It sounds way more daunting than I thought. By the way, the music in this game is fantastic ambiance. Like, none of it's, like, banger, but none of it's bad. Like, it's all just fucking pleasant and works. The other route is commit suicide after the crime. There's no other option, so it has to be the right answer. So does that mean in the future there's going to be more than two mm. forks in a path, too? Oh, boy. Yeah, can we go this way this time, honey? Yo, Blue, thanks for stopping in. Good to see you. Rest well. 
If y'all run back, I coulda. Aww. I didn't even think of that. That could have been funny. suicide after the crime would mean... After killing the other four, the culprit killed themselves, right? Is I think that it's Zilch. really the right answer? I think it's Zilch. The mystery labyrinth's ruins represent logical all, deduction. But there's only one set himself on fire. the only possibility. I think the only option left is the culprit off himself. I just need to find that suicidal pest. Because I don't think the knife in the chest was killing him. I think the fire is what killed him. Because the knife in the chest is what killed Apex. Oh. Oh, it's shaking. Ah, Bye. What's going on here? Oh, hell yeah. Donkey Kong Country. Let's go. This is part of the mystery materializing. You just need to solve it. What am I doing? Who was the last person to die during the fucking uh this way. If the culprit committed suicide after the crime, then the last person that died should be the culprit. Rue. I'm smart. Right. Because they would be able to kill someone else if they off themselves already. Nice work! Mm -hmm. Must be the culprit. All five burned to death, so the culprit who died last totally burned themselves. Come on, let's try again. Burn the end. One who burned the other four, then set themselves on fire. Ah, I'm Zilch. back. I knew it was Zilch, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't feel bad about picking him early on now. But you know, setting aside the idea that the culprit was the last to die, why would it be Detective Four Eyes? I, that I have no idea. Didn't we discover his body first? According to the peacekeepers, the victims all burned to death, right? But when we first found Zilch in car one, he wasn't burnt yet. Yep. If that's the case, that means he must have burned to death after that. Although, everyone else we found after him had already died from burns. Alright. So if they all burned to death, then the last one who died could be Detective Borax. I think the culprit killed everyone in the opposite order of how we found their corpses. Yep. I still don't understand the stab wound in... in Aphex, though, and why Zilch put the knife in his heart before the fire. Starting from car five, he killed them in order one by one. Then so Detective oh, Borais is without a doubt the culprit, but he committed suicide, huh? Mm. What if it's not suicide? The, the door! Hell yeah, all of them right first try, baby! It worked? See, I told you it would be fine. I'm such a terrific guide. Thanks, Shinigami. Yeah. Goal. Is that the end of it? I guess it, it, it says goal. I guess that's everything. Unless we got one more fight it's out of nowhere. Than I thought. What's wrong, Master? I'm wondering if that's really all that happened. Something about this seems The knife off. is bugging me too, Yuma. It does? You think so? Ah, 
What's going on? The conclusion? Is this the truth behind the case? Zilch killed the other four, then set fire to him. There's himself. only one door. No other options. Maybe this really is the end. Kind of a simple conclusion, despite five people dying. Well, true. I hope this was a helpful tutorial for you, Master. Thanks, dear. Wait. Mystery labyrinths contain all the mysteries of the real world case, including things like misdirection, right? Which means this could be an attempt by the culprit to mislead us. So, you don't think this is the truth? What makes you say that? I'm not sure, but I have a feeling the case isn't closed yet. If so, then this door could be a fake. Let's just go around it to behind the door. How can we tell? If you think it's fake, why not try breaking it? It'll be bad news if you're wrong, though. And I won't tell you exactly what will happen. I don't want to affect your judgment. You don't know what'll happen. You've already affected my judgment. I guess the only way to find out is to destroy it. How about that went up? How do I do that? Well, you hit it with our puke sword. I mean, they clearly want me to demolish it, so I'll go with it. So it was fake! It was the culprit trying to throw us off the trail! I still think it was Zilch, though. <laughs> you said it just quit while you were ahead. It is what it is. It's yeah, rare for a fake exit to evening. appear. Hopefully this the mystery dogs labyrinth are... is way tougher than I thought. Hopefully the dogs are a little quieter. Master, don't let your guard down. Make sure you drop your money before you drop dead. Right, I promise I'll show mercy to your wallet. Right, round three. I just can't. It's got to be the knife. The knife and the stab wound. Why? Oh man, I'm fucking lost. I just can't put it together. I wonder if Master can even make snap judgments. Mystery phantoms throw out noise. These will obstruct your vision, get in the way. Use the solution blade to cut them down. Are you gonna remember all of this? Uh, the more noise destroyed, the bigger bone she'll get, so when it pops up, be aggressive sure, hope you got all that down. The bonus for destroying noise based on the max amount you destroy in one cycle basically is a cap on how much you can get. So I just slash the noise with A, and I can see there's the knife. See? The ghost must be silk! Reason is obvious! Yeah, I'll just is the only one who could have done the crop. about it, Zilch's suicide by fire doesn't make sense. Because when I saw Zilch through the window, there was a knife in his chest. If he burned himself, then why would there be a knife stuck there? <laughs> you little brat. Fine. I'll answer you. All right, answer me. We have the blood stains in the car. Then set himself on fire. 
First one I've missed though. Yeah. So was it that on the first one I guess then? I was the knife stuck in the body. Uh, of course I know why. Yeah, it was to knock himself out. Why wouldn't he just take that to knock himself out instead of stabbing him? Or stabbing himself or being His stabbed. Would have fallen conscious. He would have used the drugged coffee in the dining car. That's a much easier way to pass out. My brain's getting there a little bit. I see. So they're trying to mislead you about the cause of death for Detective Four Eyes. I still think it's Zilch. Right. The peacekeeper said all the detectives burned to death. But Zilch's corpse in the first car is different. Well, I mean, what's his, the fucking... Fucking Aphex had a giant stab wound too. To me, it looked more like he was stabbed to death. And maybe he was burned afterwards. So the peacekeeper's report was a lie? Or he but was burned and then stabbed to, to make it. If they wanted to set you up as the culprit, they'd be raising questions by fabricating reports. Yeah, you're right. They all must have died by fire after all. And for some reason, only Zilch appeared to have been stabbed to death. No, no, no. Alphonse had a big fucking gash in his chest, too. Now, why say Alphonse? Apex. Apex Legends. It. So that's what was bothering me. I've been fixated on this knife the whole fucking time. But I just can't put it together. No how hard I think about it, I can't seem to figure out what happened no, next. No, you and me both, Yuma. Huh? Mm, why's that? I don't have enough clues about Zilch in the first car. I should have investigated it more after discovering the body, but I was too preoccupied with calling for help. So we're stuck right here. I don't see any other routes to break through this mystery. I don't even know what mystery we gotta solve right now. But I do know there can't be a labyrinth without a goal. The truth is always behind a mystery. You wish you had investigated more, right? So you think you'd have the answer if you'd done that? I'm traveling, me baby. Huh? Yeah. Oh, fine. My secret weapon is so draining, I try to avoid using it as much as possible. There's also a flipped bed in car five. I remember, I, I vividly remember her saying, Oh, what if they flipped the bed to, to try and cover something up? Uh, I just love it when you rely on me, Master. All right, all right. I have doing? a bad feeling about this. You're gonna what punch the shit do? out of me, ain't you? This is all for you, Master. Aw, oh, yeah, we're about to get punched. Punch me, Mommy. Ready, Master? Oh. Wait! Ha 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 ha. Damn. Big. Oh shit, there it is. It's the diorama of the room. It's a punch-a-rama. Oh. I think that was just a straight fucking haymaker. <laughs> What's going on? I'm extracting your memory and materializing it inside the mystery labyrinth. This is my super cute special weapon. See, if you investigate super here, cute. you <laughs> might make some new discoveries. <laughs> oh. The shock from all this is making my head spin. 
You don't have any time to waste, Master. This was pumped out of that slow brain of yours, so don't assume it'll stick around right, for long. Okay, I'm right here. You're talking right to me. You have until the pain in your head clears up. Now hurry and investigate. Got it. I'll hurry. I don't know what I didn't investigate in here. Crime scene recreation. Alright, see the body. This blanket is mostly burned, but some parts near the knife are unscathed. It doesn't look like there's blood on the blanket at all. But how could that be? It's a fake. So there's no blood on the blanket. Maybe it was moved from... Maybe, maybe this blanket was the one that was in car 5? And not the one from whatever what car one this is i'm telling you this might be the car one and car five the plates were switched or all the plates for the cars were flipped around so everything we saw in car five was one and everything we saw in car one was five. Oh, so i can get solution keys here too you may have seen it but forgotten that just means you didn't think anything of it at the time but it is in your memory, so you can use it as a clue. You can do that? You're incredible, Shinigami. <laughs> Go on, keep complimenting me. Huh? This cushion. Was it always there? And there's the blocked blade. Also, it looks like it has a hole in the middle of it. It was made by something sharp. What did this? Held under the body to make it look like he was stabbed. That way he could burn himself to death and still keep the suicide. starting to go away too looks like time's up well did you find anything yeah i think i see the contradiction here although i'm not completely sold on it come on this is where you're supposed to declare i've solved the mystery i've solved the mystery well if you think you're on the right track then i guess we should do this next do what backtrack it's for when you're stuck in your deductions Remember what I said earlier? Every labyrinth has a goal. So just keep going forward, right? So even when you're stuck, there's always a way out. And we're gonna find it by working together. You're gonna punch me again? Working together? Play it all out, master! Okay, phrasing. Oh, that's a big barrel. We're going in the barrel, aren't we? in paradise baby oh are we getting fan service again shinigami puzzle uh shinigami puzzle the shinigami puzzle is one of my secret techniques to uncover the hidden truth uh, the truth is hiding somewhere in the letters on the side of the barrel containing yours truly. Ready, Read the question, then fire. knock... Shut up! Read the question, then knock out the letters in the right order. Uh, make a mistake in the... Oh my god, this is like the fucking... This is like the one fucking thing from Dangan that everybody hates. Somewhere inside your head, master. If you knock the letters out in the right order, I'll be imbued with power of truth. It's just the power of fan service. If you feed me solution keys floating around, I'll give you whichever hint comes to mind. Grab the key and bring it to my mouth. Don't you forget. Uh, there's some solution keys you can't get hits from. If I eat one of those, the time limit will be reduced. All right. 
so that's obviously a red herring on the one right there. So I doubt this will be ours, unless it is. It's, oh, that's what it is. Where is the R? Come on. The D go. That's right. And service? I guess not. Oh, never mind. There you go. There you go, chat. There's your fan. There's your fan service. You're welcome. Oh my God! What an eye beam out of what is happening? <laughs> Yo, sick fucking chest, though. That's right. When I saw Zilch through the window, it appeared as if the knife was stuck in his chest. It was in the pillow. But in actuality, he stabbed the blanket wrapped cushion to make it look like he had been stabbed. That's why the blanket didn't have blood on it, even though the cushion was stabbed through. Oh, Zilch's death was a red herring. It was meant to mislead us. Let's open up the chest. It's a new solution key. If it was a red herring, that means he wasn't really dead. So you were right. Yeah, Zilch was faking his death to fool us. Yeah, but how do you get set on fire then? That knife was just to trick me into thinking he was dead when I looked through the window. So he could set himself on fire and still go through with the suicide. But the peacekeeper's report saying they all burned to death created a contradiction. <laughs> so the culprit was just plain dead. It's exactly what I said. What the fuck so misleading? I don't know where the origin of a red herring like the thing comes from actually i have no idea where the origin of the uh saying is from in a roundabout way yes which means that dead end in the abyss could have a new path now wow you can't believe you were right shinigami let's hurry back all right where's my fast comes from water. Son of a bitch. There's gotta be a fucking quicker way back from this. Uh, What's wrong? It's too much of a hassle to go all the way back there. I don't want to walk anymore. Yeah, I'm with you. Some guy you are. Besides, you're not even walking. That's true, you're floating. I despise effort and hard work. I want to head back the easy way. Yeah, yeah. Fuck hard work. Oh, I know. I have a convenient transportation method thanks to my awesomeness. Hell yeah, I love cheating. Let's go. It lets us go anywhere you've been before. Oh, I was just wow, joking about fast travel. Hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, zoom. <laughs> Hell yeah. See? Super easy. Zoom. Yeah, sure. I don't know what the other one was. But unfortunately, using it does drain a little bit. Everything you do drains a little bit. Yeah, you drain you're a still little bit of what? Do you have MP or something? What? <laughs> Lifespan. Oh. My lifespan? Again? Oh, no. So we passed through how did the culprit pull it off junction and have taken the play dead turn again. Now that we have a new solution key, I'm sure we can solve this mystery and access what's ahead. I like the fall guys goo down there. Let's give it a try. Hey, look at the time door. We got the dolly door. Solution keys are important to solving mysteries. Yours truly is important. We are gonna expose the truth together. So 
Slice is slicing. Zilch was trying to trick us into thinking he'd killed himself. So that he could have killed himself? Yeah, but then he actually died, so what the fuck was the Bridge. point? How did he catch on fire and actually die if he was just pretending to die? See, didn't I say the path would appear? It's all because we found the right detective clue to break through. I'm so amazing. You can pat me on the head if you want, Master. Well, maybe later. Is that what you ladies are into? Head pets. We I mean, I guess a ton of YouTubers have the, the head pet red thing, don't key. He swapped. So you think Aphex died in the room before we woke up? He threw Aphex at the front of the train and then came back there by the time we woke up from being sleepy? He opened played dead route thanks to the corpse red herring solution. So Zilch really faked his death to mislead us. If so, he is absolutely the culprit. Now, we just need to prove it. But even if the mystery labyrinth is fair when it comes to solving mysteries, the real world will be different, right? What if Amaterasu Corp decides to protect the culprit, even if we prove who really did it? Oh, you're worried they'll just cover it up? No need to worry about that. Huh? Why's that? Let's save the fun for later. Because if you uncover the truth, they have to accept it in the real world, maybe? Oh, the ground! It's falling apart! Better run. You better run, Master! Why? Wasn't this the right route? Maybe the logic still has some holes in it. Uh, this is probably not good. Master, you better concentrate! Oh, this is a fetish. Oh, fuck, I'm awakened. Oh, shit, I'm awakened! I, I, I hit the wrong button. Why is it A now? They changed the... God. I hate quick time events. When I saw Zilch through the window, he was faking his death with a knife through the cushion. Yep. That was definitely the real Zilch. The corpse I investigated was real, it just wasn't Zilch's corpse. In other words, Zilch swapped himself out for a real corpse. Switched right before I broke the infirmary window to open the lock. The blazing fire had filled the room with smoke, so I couldn't make anything out through the window. So he snuck out. Zilch used that smoke as cover to switch himself with a dead body. Hiding the rest the fire of the wasn't only there to show he died from burning. It was also a smoke screen to swap out the corpse. 
Did he hide behind the bed in the other infirmary, maybe? Right. In the smoke, he switched places with a corpse he had hit. Now ah! oh, back into the TV. Yeah, he just followed me the whole time and I never turned around. Next up, you need to deduce where the corpse was hidden. Because the room was filled with smoke, he needed to put the body somewhere he could access immediately. Under the bed, maybe, I guess. Where are you thinking? If he needed to get to the body as quickly as possible, only one place makes sense. Under the bed. Blood place is suspicious. That research every nook and cranny. Yeah, 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 yeah. That doesn't make mistakes. Right? 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 Here. Here. That's it. The bird corpse was hidden right there. So that's, so that's why he couldn't burn the thing yet because the corpse is under or maybe the corpse I guess it doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter if it was burned or not under there. Hey, give me back my TV! You little turds. Jeez, one after another. This is really bad for my heart. Not as much as a fast travel, apparently. We're not Shinigami, you might be fine because oh, you're man. floating around, but Have this night, is Goose. really Stick tough for out. me. Give the, I can't the believe kitties it. a pet. We have the corpse hidden under the blanket? So, that four-eyed detective was sleeping next to a dead body. I'm so jealous! <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Here. So Sage was we lying see in bed him. With the corpse. We ran we away. The smoke screen was ready. Because we were getting the, we were getting he the took thing. the corpse out from under the blanket, pulled the knife out of the cushion, and stabbed it. That way, even after he switched with the corpse, he could just hide to avoid me. Break the window. Why did Detective Four Eyes hide after that? Just in the corner. It must have been someplace with easy access, which must mean. Under the bed. He could have quickly hid there. Which means if you checked under the bed at the time, you would have caught that four eyed idiot. You're telling me to move on and tell the other people, though, so that's what we did. But back then, I was in yeah. such a hurry to warn the other master detectives. I'm sure he calculated all that, too. He knew I'd panic. Maybe he was planning to take advantage of you from the very beginning, and that's why he let you in. Yeah, I think Zilch was the one who peeked into the restroom while I was sleeping there. I was supposed to be sleeping in the infirmary, so he must have planned to move me before committing the crimes. I passed out in the restroom, but that didn't hinder his plans, so he went with it. Speaking of which, wasn't it Detective Four Eyes who told you to go to the first car? Yeah, he said don't go to the infirmary and the he, he said what the, all the rooms are occupied, go to the infirmary. Yeah. He must have planned to make me witness everything and set me up as the culprit. Aha! I think I'm starting to see the whole picture now. Not bad, master. Maybe you were a big shot detective before you lost your memories. You mean like uh, what's her face said? That it was all just a test, and one of them, you know, is from the thing. No. If I really was a great detective, I would have caught the culprit in the infirmary before any of this happened. Or you mean it was a test, and if I would have caught Zilch, everybody would have been fine or some shit, but since I didn't catch him, everybody dies? I guess so. By the way, where did he get the corpse he was hiding in the blanket? That corpse? Well, um... Ah! Again! I 
won't let you go any further. Huh, getting in our way again, huh? If you stand against my ruthless master, he'll chop you up and stir fry you with veggies for dinner. I will not. <laughs> Championship main event fight right now. Well, we made it to Kainai, so Master, if there's like a billion mysteries there. Going the Lord. I'll assist you when you're in a pinch. Huh? Assist? It's the rule of the mystery labyrinth to assist whoever you're accompanying. Now let's go, Master. Oh, looks like you might not need assist after all, Master. By using assist, your partner inside the. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The mystery labyrinth will help this you out. The clincher. When a partner's assist activated, a mystery phantom statement will inflict any damage. You get to take a closer look at what they're saying. Who just scores Apex to help? I won't let you pass. Enough of your nonsense! You think he swapped with a corpse? It'd be impossible to switch like that! Oh, he can't jump Someone there. who can replace Silt would need to be the same size as him! He didn't have a bag that could carry a corpse! Oh, it would have been down at the station. It'd be impossible to get it on board. There was no corpse to replace anyway. Master. Corpse is switched. Is this fuck? No, this human, the, the, even with what's her face's bag, Poochie's corpse wouldn't have fit in. None of the corpses would have fit in one of the fucking bags we saw. Even though she was joking that. Unless that's his fucking thing! He lied about fucking. He, he lied about being his, his animal bullshit. And he was. And he is able to, like, fucking shrink things or some shit and put it in that one bag we were talking about that was huge. Because we never saw his actual one because he was like, oh, mice are not going to only use mice on animals and stuff, you know? Yeah. I won't let you pass! So maybe... This was the prepared corpse because beyond recognition, there's a stab wound in the chest and we just assume it's Aphex because of the necklace, but it might not be Aphex because unrecognizable. And it wasn't like it was in Aphex's room or anything, but what the hell do I hit it with? Yes. I am moved. Enough of your nonsense! You think he swapped with a corpse? It'd be impossible what? to switch like that. Someone who can replace Silt would need to be the same size as him. He didn't have a bag that could carry a corpse. That's no, not bad. I finally stumped on something. Hey, I need to use her. You are done. You think he swapped with a corpse? It'd be impossible to switch like that. Someone who could replace Silt would need to be the same size as him. He didn't have a bag that could carry a corpse. It would have been. 
Dude, I, my brain's fried. What? For sure the bias swap there had to be a replacement. I won't let you go! I think Chris face is barely recognizable. Maybe it is Poochie's? Because she's the smallest one? I'm so fucking lost. I, I'm finally lost on something. I, we were bound to, we were bound to fucking get to this point. Like, dang it, Rampa would get me with this shit too. I don't care about what you're saying. You're just chat right now to me. I don't, I don't, no offense, I don't want your help. You think he swapped with a corpse? It'd be impossible to switch like that. Someone who could replace Silch would need to be the same size as him. He didn't have a bag that could carry a corpse. It would have been down at the station. It'd be impossible to get it on board. There was no corpse to replace anyway. This is the truth. I just used on the wrong one. <gasps> Dumb. There's no need to bring an extra corpse for the spot. He just needed to reuse a dead body on the train. It's Aphex's body from the fifth car. He and Zilch are nearly the same height, and both have stab wounds in their chests. So the corpse that was switched was Aphex's. Ah, damn it! How could someone like you find the truth? short-tempered idiot would be used for a body swap. Thinking back, the reason the corpses in the first and fifth cars were burnt was to switch them out. But the corpse was so badly burned that I couldn't tell it was Aphex. That must be what the necklace was for, so I could identify him. Well, reusing a corpse is rather environmentally friendly of the culprit, don't you think? You did totally like nature. I mean, we gotta recycle everything in our day and age, so you gotta get the most value out of corpses too, you know? Oh, do we get to see it happen now or something? Zilch? Wait, I am not the culprit. I am a victim who was already killed. So, leave me alone! Hey, he ran away! After him, Master! It, yeah. You said the body in the first car's infirmary wasn't me, but Aphex? But you went to car five after car one, and discovered his corpse there. 
how is the corpse transported from car one to car five? That'd require moving past you. That's right. If he slipped past us, when did that happen? moment when the lights went out when they went into the tunnel or, and or came out of the tunnel they have to be quick as hell though or when the power went out or whichever reason gone outside the train instead of through it he could have passed us no that's impossible 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 freaking out he's freaking out He's posing! Uh, Zilch turned into a mystery phantom! Get him, Master! Boom kill him until there's only a sorry slab of flesh left! Hey! Strange. The blackout and shaking that happened when I was in car two and car four. Uh. When the blackout occurred and the shaking started, I'm certain something else happened in the train. Maybe it has something to do with the mystery of the moving corpse. Uh, don't be stupid. So what if there was a little blackout and some gentle swaying? Huh? The blackout was just a bad contact. The shaking was the tunnel air pressure. There's nothing odd about that. It's all just a coincidence. It's impossible to conclude that in a criminal plot. Get 
God, I, I, I thought it was this plate, but I don't know. I, I need to see what he's saying again. I need to see what he's saying In the again. blackout. They were nothing but coincidences. The blackout was just a bad contact. A bad contact. It's got to be this on that, right? The shaking was the tunnel air pressure. There's nothing on the back. The wrong button. It's all just coincidence. It's a possible to report that a criminal plot. I am in the bad plot. No. Forget the shaking and the blackout. They were nothing but coincidences. The blackout was just a bad contact. Fuck. What does that mean? Do I not have it on this? Shaking in the blackout. Do I not have it on the right one? They were nothing but coincidences. The blackout was just a bad contact. The shaking was the tunnel air pressure. There's nothing odd about that. It's all just a coincidence. It's impossible to include that in a criminal plot. Were they not on the right one? Forget the shaking and the blackout. I'm gonna try it again. Maybe I wasn't on the right one and didn't notice. The blackout was just a bad contact. Flash through this mystery. <laughs> no, I was on the wrong. It didn't occur because of a connection failure. It was due to the main control system failing and switching to the backup control system. Control system automatically manages the electricity with the brain. The blackout occurred during that one second when the system switched over. <sighs> I'm back on the train. such a thing as a good phantom? What? After him, you gotta keep solving the mystery and boom kill that mystery phantom! Gotta boom kill. Uh, hey! Master, you may know the cause of the blackout. What does that have to do with how the corpse was moved? The failed main control system was in car one, where the body swap occurred. If so, then the main control system's failure must have something to do with moving the corpse. So maybe the culprit broke the main control system. He must have attempted to stop the train to bring in the corpse from the outside. But the train never stopped. The operation log confirms the train was moving the entire time. So I don't think he broke the system to bring the corpse in. Then why did the main control system fail? Hmm. It must have something to do with moving the body. But you're unsure exactly how, huh? In that case... Anything blocking you in here is also a mystery. So let's solve it to keep on going. Main ah! control system was. So this is the question we're facing right now. Car one was. Uh... The main control system must have failed because something happened in the first car. If that's true, what exactly happened? If it's related to the body being moved, then how? Hmm. 
Uh... Master's expression is so serious. He must be thinking hard. Well, as his mentor, I better think hard too. <laughs> the main control system failing. The blackout. The train shaking. Oh yeah! Why did the train shake like that? There was a blackout right before entering the tunnel that was caused by the main control system failing. But the culprit didn't destroy it, so the blackout happened because... Oh, uh, wasn't there some shaking right before the blackout too? After the whole train shook, the blackout... That would mean there's, if it detached though, I'm trying not to look at chat in case, you know, somebody's thinking out loud that I don't want to see. All the cars were still there at the end, so what fucking detached? Right! The train shook right before the blackout. We still don't know what caused that to happen. Whatever it was, it was strong enough to make the entire train shake. It caused the main control system to fail and resulted in a blackout. If it had something to do with moving a body, then what must have happened was... You know more than me Whoa, right now, you Did I give you the assistance you needed? Close to solving the case now? I had no fucking clue. Then it's time to combine our powers and solve this thing! Let's go, Master! Lay it all out! Yeah, well, fuck it! Try to solve it like any split! I think it is detached though. That's not it. It's not detached. Oh, oh, I just can't do D. Stop looking at shit. But I just want to figure it out myself. <laughs> control system failed was because the first car was cut off from the rest of the train we were riding in. Let's keep going for now. Um, Master, I don't really get it. What do you mean the first car was cut off? The shaking happened just before the blackout, right? Did it just shake? What was that? The lights went out for a moment and came back on. I mean, at we that ran time, through the train the first at the car end. was disconnected from the rest of the Amaterasu Express. Maybe it was detached, but like, didn't detach because it's in the front. As a result, the main control system failed and after a brief blackout, it switched to the backup. But why cut off the first car? Why go through all that trouble? Of 
worse, to move the body in the train car. To do that. Big How much longer will this keep happening? I feel like I'm going to suffocate. Now is not the time to be suffocating. <laughs> Again? We need to resolve car. the mystery at hand. Given that the first car was cut off so that the body could be moved. Right. I think I see. Seems like he got Entire it. Entire so pie, do this. indeed. Lay it all up, master. It's got to be car, right? Y'all ready for your more fan service? Right, it's not car then. Oh yeah, it is. I see car. Back R. It could have been can. All right, that's a pose. <laughs> I mean. They sent the car on the other track, so it reattached once it came right. out the end of he the tunnel. The corpse using the there was a fork car. in the track. That's why they the first car was disconnected. Yeah, they put they sent the first car along the other track, and then it reconnected. That's why the shaking happened as soon as they came out of the tunnel. The map transported the corpse with the entire car. Nonsense. The map! The first car is at the front of the train. Avex's corpse was in the fifth car, in the back. Even if you detach the front car, how do you move it all the way to the rear? Uh, um... Don't be scared. Lots of villains transform after they've been cornered. K calm down. Stay calm. Think. Uh, how could you swap the position of the first and fifth cars? If I can answer that, I can solve this mystery once and for all. Gimme, 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 gimme. I feel smart for once. Gimme, 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 gimme. That reminds me. Master, Earth blackout only happened once. But the shaking happened twice. Yeah, it definitely shook two separate times. Right before entering the tunnel, yeah, 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 and yeah. right after leaving it. Map, 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 map. The first time was when the train car was disconnected. But what about the second? When it reconnected. Something happened to the train then, too. The shaking at the end of the tunnel felt similar to when car one disconnected. There's no point thinking about it. You're stuck in this labyrinth for all eternity. Stuck these nuts. Master, here he comes. You've got to solve the mystery and defeat him. Your deductions aren't worth a damn thing. Oh, rude. Only she's allowed to be rude to me. Because they're all wrong from the very beginning. So it shook twice near the tunnel. Do I just pop it? Okay. I don't know AMD. I know Intel a little more. Yeah, I was popping that to see if that was it. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm 100% sure it's a map. 
Crucial thing and conducted no. it. That time, not all the cars were moving on the same track. The track that the Amaterasu Express was on separated into double tracks right before entering the tunnel. So, by taking advantage of the double tracks, it's possible to switch out the train cars. Time the train trip was before entering the tunnel, which was caused by car one separating. After that, the separated car one entered the other track, while the rest of the train proceeded on the main track. The two tracks rejoin after the tunnel. That's where car one connected to the end of the train. This is when the train shook for the second time. Yeah. You're right! First car moved all the way to the back! <laughs> Normally, it's impossible for a single train car to function on its own, but the Amaterasu Express is special. So it goes back and forth. The control system will supply electricity as programmed and drive the train. But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. By the way, this track is banger. Train car can operate autonomously, then car one can function on its own. Doesn't that solve everything? It's time you gave up. No, that's crazy. Okay, I mean, it is, but okay. Huh? What? Using your method to rearrange the train cars would connect the first car to the end, which would leave it behind the fifth car. In other words, it becomes the sixth car. But that doesn't exist. Wait. So, you're telling me you found Apex's corpse in the non-existent sixth car? He looks like uh, he looks like almost a Shin Megami like, or like you know persona, like demon, you know, or spirit, whatever you call him. You'd meet in like a dungeon or whatever too. Oh, like, you're right. A persona itself. Do you get it? You're the one who's wrong. Everything you've deduced is wrong! No, I'm not wrong. The truth lies just ahead of us. Non-existent sixth one has the plate that you burned. I will prove it to you. Oh, more fan service, baby. Love to see it. The plate, the plate, what am I doing? You can so the five? So it's five, not six. Not five, wait, so seven? I don't know, I, I can't count. Four? Oh, it was four because there's three cars, one, two, and three, and four was the one that moved then, right? I can count. I can count, don't worry. That's why the plate was hidden, because you would have just seen the Maybe four. Maybe the Amaterasu Express doesn't have five cars. 
What if there were only four cars to begin with? If that's the case, then to me, car one could be made to look like car five. So that's why, that's why What's-Her-Face couldn't get into car one because he had already fucked it up and had to hide the thing. You know, the plate being burned and all that because if he walked in there, he would have seen, oh shit, there's only fucking four of them. Because we had already seen the other three cars. said the fifth car's door was broken while we were in transit. Because it was just the front. But you can't access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. Because it was the front, that's why it wouldn't open, just like the one in the back wouldn't open. So, it wasn't broken. The fourth car was actually the farthest one back from the get-go? I'm sure the real fifth car was left behind at the station when we departed. So the train took off with only four cars. There was another car one at our destination. If it connected upon arrival, then the train would have five cars again. That's why I thought when he was running through, I'm like, well, there was five cars, right? So the car one where I was knocked out became the fifth car at the end of the line. And when I was questioned by the peacekeepers, the car one there was another car prepared at the station specifically for this plot. The real car one was waiting at the station's platform, and all the peacekeepers there would have noticed it. So they were all in on it. Or you can assume that the peacekeepers themselves were the ones who prepared the other car one. <coughs> if there was another car one, then there will be something that sets it apart from the original car one. For example, the way the window glass was broken in the infirmary would be different from how I broke it. You mean when you used the fire extinguisher to smash the infirmary's window? Mm -hmm. So they knew you would do that? That's how they were able to imitate it in the new car one? I think I was set up to reach for that fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher was left in a conspicuous spot in the hallway. They wanted me to use it to break the window. Yeah, it wasn't even like in the fire extinguisher thing. It was on the floor. And that's how they pulled off swapping the first and fifth cars while in transit. It was all a trap to set me up as the culprit. Isn't that right, Zilch? <laughs> There he goes, big poop. All right, we're almost there. Let's catch this culprit. Final push. That was a pretty solid deduction. I'm not gonna lie. Very impressive. I've had some hiccups, but remembering that train route got my it's got my neurons so fired. It doesn't feel like I'm learning this stuff, more like I'm remembering it. Maybe I was even a high-ranking detective in the WDO. Now's no time for bragging. You still gotta catch him! Right! Hey man, they're, they're like a hamster on a wheel, baby. Two would double what I normally Everything have, so... feels different here. This is just the calm before the storm. Be careful. You don't know what's gonna happen next. You know, making the first car look like the fifth was a really big trick to pull That's off. That's a lot of stairs. I'm surprised the train cars could disconnect and reconnect so smoothly. The train's automatic operating system must have had it programmed before we departed. In the trick with the swapping train car? Probably. It had to have been done automatically. Well, it'd be easy for Amaterasu. They own the train. That's what I'm worried about. Even if I obtain the truth here, won't they just ignore what I say and arrest me anyway? I keep telling you not to worry about it. 
As long as you have the truth, the culprit can't escape. Why are you so sure of that? I've probably done this before. The death god. Oh. Oh, sick castle, though, bro. What is this? Looks like a fort to me. With this kind of protection, I bet the truth is in there for sure. You just have to destroy it. So the truth is here. You can't All right, have did you the have truth. To, you have to, you have to do that. That pose, Zilch. It's impossible to destroy this fortress. Just give up and leave. Whenever a culprit takes a last stand like this, you know we're just a step away from unriddling this labyrinth. Master, time to show him how dangerous you really are. After all, he did try to set you up. I'm not worried about that right now. We're so close to the truth. We gotta do this. <laughs> it's boom kill time. Yeah, boom kill time, baby. Taking a little longer because I'm reading a lot of it. I'm being I'm being very thorough with everything and oh what the fuck? Fight me, mommy. I mean it's technically only been like four and a half hours. From what I read it takes most people four to five for this first chapter. It's quicker if you're not streaming and stuff. God Shinagon. Welcome to, uh, to overcome last stand or phantom, tear through all obstacles with a mega-sized god, the great onset destroyer. Me! Okay. Let's do this, master! What is happening? This is attack on Titan shit, by the way. Go away! Keep up and scram! I see! Easy peasy! Watch out! Your deduction is wrong! Go away! Don't come near me! Don't come any closer! Stop it! Switching the first and fifth parts is just your imagination! It's a completely baseless lie. There's no evidence they ever swapped. Yo, check, check. Come on, hurry up at the side. Use the solution key to smash uh, through the wall, Master. There's no evidence they ever swapped. The plate? You're wrong! Huh? Come on! Yeah! No! There are traces of a swap! The warped plate from Car 5! The reason that plate was burned so thoroughly is because originally it said Car 1. Left as it was, it would have messed up your plot to make Car 1 look like Car 5. That's why you made extra sure it was burned beyond recognition! You 
have no way of knowing what number car oh. was. That's my bad. So there's nothing backing up your deduction. You have no hard evidence proving that location was the first car. Looks like we need another solution key to boom kill him. Good luck, Master. Look for the first car. <coughs> the blood on the lock. probably didn't notice it, but I remember. It's my blood. <clears throat> what? Yep, from when he, uh, from when he reached in after he broke the, uh, with the extinguisher. When I was trying to get into the infirmary in car one, I cut my finger on the glass. When I reached through to unlock the latch, I must have gotten blood on it. But that blood stain would have been hidden while the interlock was open. That's probably why the culprit missed it. My blood, which was left behind in car one, was found in car five. This proves that someone pulled off the car switching trick. This is the truth of the case. Give up God. yet? I'm not done yet! What? He's still going? Let us boom kill you already! If car one became car five, then where did the culprit supposedly hiding in the infirmary go? You had to have checked the fifth car, but the culprit wasn't there! It must have been hiding somewhere in the fifth car. Probably someplace safe. We never checked the control room because we assumed nobody would be in there. But if it was disconnected, then somebody maybe could have gone in there. Here. The culprit was hiding inside the main control room, which was locked shut the entire time. I didn't have the key, so I could never have gotten inside. I bet the culprit moved there from the infirmary while car one was running on the second track. If the train's management company, Amaterasu Corporation, was involved, the culprit may have had the key. And then they hid in a blind spot I couldn't see from the window. That's how they got past me. No, it's not me. Ooh. I'm not. Ooh. Uh. I call that a critical hit. He seems like he's barely standing. All that's left is to finish him off. Finish him off? Uh, how do I do that? Shove all of your evidence into the solution blade and slash as hard as you can. Yeah.
Oh god, how bad did I do? Alright. Finish us off, baby. Deduction to now the mentions where truth is made clear by thinking through the deductions up to that point. Place the correct piece in the corresponding gap to this reveal the truth. The truth lock piece can be opened by solving mysteries, so keep it up, up, up. Once every gap is filled with a piece, the finale revealing all the mysteries we unveiled, everything has been leading to this moment. Let's go. I guess the black out works What did the culprit burn? The plate. I'm vibing to this music, by the way. At midnight, baby. What happened after exiting the tunnel? Uh, the car reattached. Which body was found last? Which is, or excuse me, Apex. Get sick music in a in a play by play now. Hell yeah. yeah I picked Zilch too at the start, so I'm glad it turned out to be him. My intuition a little bit. Step right up, step right up. Five master detectives slain before their time. And Amaterasu Corporation has master in their sights. Truth bombs are about to be dropped. Time for the deduction game on. The incident unfolded aboard the Amaterasu Express, which was on its way to Kanai Ward. 
Oh, just. I rushed onto the train as it was about to depart. At that time, the train was made up of five cars. Oh, because you were fast asleep in the lost and found, Master. If you kept snoozing, the case would never be solved. When the train started moving, it was only four cars long. The fifth and final one was left at the station. And so, the culprit scheme had already begun. Meaning Amaterasu Corporation was involved from the get-go. On the train, the master detectives were gathered together in car two. That was the dining car. And the culprit had already mixed a knockout drug into every drink there. was the first person on the train, so they could prepare in advance and wait for everybody else. I felt unwell, and Melamy went to the trouble of pouring me a coffee. But after drinking it, I started to feel drowsy. I was hearing things at the time and thought that I might be seriously ill, but it was actually the drug. Oh, so you thought yours truly was responsible? Mm -hmm. Sent me off to car one in order to find the music is the very camera. loud right now. I'm sure the culprit didn't expect you to get sick, Master, but since you look like a super easy target, they probably changed their plan and went after you instead. Once I left, the other master detectives must have fallen asleep because of the drugged drinks. The culprit then burned everyone to death, setting all those master detectives on fire. This was when the culprit put their plan to frame me into motion. First, they carried Aphex's charred corpse to the infirmary in car one. The very first body we found. Then, they deliberately left a fire extinguisher near the restroom I was sleeping in. This was done to prompt me into smashing the door later. Better have someone get inside somehow, or else nobody would find the body. Next, the culprit entered the infirmary, locked the door, and laid down on the bed with Aphex's charred corpse. Jumping into bed with a charred corpse! And here I thought chivalry was dead! <laughs> what a gentleman! I'm actually a little jealous. A knife and cushion created the red herring. Hell of a way to pretend to be dead. Furthermore, Culprit set the room on fire just as I was waking up. While you were sleeping, I felt someone come into the restroom. Uh, they must have seen me then and timed it. When I woke up in the restroom and went into the hallway, car one was beginning to fill with smoke. Oh, that's some precise timing! I caught a glimpse of Zilch in the infirmary, with a knife lodged in his chest. But it didn't take long for the smoke to obscure everything. That was when the culprit took out Aphex's burnt corpse, switched places with it, and waited for me to enter the room while hiding beneath the bed. It's just like a magic trick, a switching places under a veil of smoke. Meanwhile, I found the fire extinguisher on the floor. Smash the window. Side. Just like the culprit planned. And that's why they left the fire extinguisher there in the first place. After the smoke cleared, I found Zelch's body burnt to a crisp. At least, that's what I thought. The charred corpse was actually Aphex. The culprit had me completely fooled. That must be why they picked the time-consuming method of roasting someone to death. Plus, the body was about the right size. I bolted out of car one after seeing the corpse. The culprit was under the bed at that time. Huh. They probably left at you from there, watching everything unfold like they planned. I went on to discover the charred corpses of the other master detectives. Around that time, the culprit came out from under the bed and went to the main control room in car one. 
stolen the train from there, they detached car one. That caused the blackout and shaking, and the power source was switched over to the backup system. So when the train shook, what's the hell with the magical news? Take a guess. <laughs> While the detached car one was running on a separate track, the culprit went to work, preparing to disguise car one as car five. What <laughs> First, Apex's corpse was carried to the corridor. The necklace removed earlier was placed back on. Then the car one number plate was burned so that it couldn't be properly identified. Everything in place. The culprit went into the main control room, locked the door, and waited for the train cars to reconnect. Well, this time, the culprit was riding in car one on the other track, right? Yep. Yeah, the train, which was only cars two, three, and four at the time, remained on course. Since we were in a tunnel, I didn't even realize car one was moving alongside us. The train we were on went through the tunnel with only three cars. When it came out of the tunnel, the car with the culprit in it attached to car four. Now behind car four, that car became car five. The swap was pre-programmed into the train's automatic operating system, right? Technology sure is convenient. True. The culprit riding in car one attached it to the back of car four. That caused more shaking, but there was no blackout this time because the power supply stayed the same. Additional shaking occurred inside my blouse, but the power stayed on. After that, I mistook car one for car five and walked right in. The culprit wrecked it so much I didn't even notice the door I had smashed when I was in car one before. I figured there'd been some kind of brawl. Also, no one would realize it's actually car one. When I found the corpse, I deduced that it was Aphex from the necklace it had on. But I was just rediscovering the same charred corpse from car one. The disguised corpse and the car switch completely fooled me. Using a dead body? Oh, that's a despairingly brilliant idea! Despair! When the train arrived in Kanai War, Connected to a different prearranged car one. And with that, the train once again had five cars. So much attaching and detaching. What a stupid, crazy, elaborate trip! Peacekeepers were lying in wait at the station. As the sole survivor, I was set up as the one responsible for the murders. Amateur Rassi was in on it! That really turns me on! Alright. Mm, this is me off. Right? <laughs> During that time, the culprit stayed hidden in the main control room of the disguised car one. And waited for the peacekeepers to haul you in, Master. They were right there at the scene. After burning all the master detectives, the culprit faked their own death and tried to frame me as the killer. It was a cunning, cold-blooded scheme. And the evildoer who committed these countless contemptible crimes is none other than... Silch Alexander! It was you! Hell yeah. Always go with my gut. This is the truth I've uncovered. And he just shot his his soul out of his body. Is that it? What's this? It's the truth. 
It's the soul of the true culprit who made this mystery labyrinth. The soul of the true culprit? Wait, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> now it's time for the main event! Here we go! It's my time to shine! I'm gonna eat him, isn't it? She gonna eat him? Okay. Surging bloodlust. Overflowing despair. Despair. The brilliant soul of Shigami. Shall we sponge this cursed case? that pyramid up Huh? We're back? What are you talking about now? Your spirit shouldn't be broken. Yet. The peacekeepers will take care of you. We have all the time in the world. Huh? Huh? Shinigami! Where are you? Nothing here has changed. What's going on? Shinigami? Are you listening? Get him! Wait! I know who the culprit is! What? It's Zilch! He's still alive. He framed me. What are you talking about? He's already dead! Huh? But... Shut up! This is not up for discussion! Eh, what a waste of time! Take him away! Shinigami! Where did you go? This isn't what's supposed to happen! <laughs> I'm right here! You're so cute when you panic, so why head to enjoy the view for a bit? Stop playing around! Why hasn't the situation changed at all? He must be hallucinating. Taking him down shouldn't be a problem. Take him away! What? He's dead! Looks like it's over. Huh? What's over? Shinigami, what's going on? There's always a price to pay. When I read the soul of the true culprit, the mystery labyrinth created by the culprit is destroyed. But as a price, the source that created the mystery labyrinth also perishes. The source perishes? <gasps> Don't tell me. That's right. The true culprit dies. Then that report saying Zilch, the true culprit, was dead. And that solves today's mystery. The true culprit is as dead as a doornail. You're now innocent and free to go, Master. A happy ending. A roll credits! Alright. There's Murder. nothing happy about this. Zilch died because I solved the mystery, right? Huh? He was a dangerous murderer who killed four master detectives. He deserved to die. I mean, I don't think I'm completely free to go. Not even with Zilch being dead. In that case, say exactly what I'm about to tell you to that gilded idiot over there. Okay. Oh boy. Swank, did you just receive a report that Zilch was dead? How did you know that? I thought so. 
If he was alive until moments ago, that changes things about this case. Someone who died in front of our, my eyes, was alive. This is clearly an attempt by the culprit to disguise the truth. Don't tell me the peacekeepers lied to try to cover up what really happened. You didn't try to frame an innocent person, did you? What? You think you can weasel your way out of this? You better not forget you're in Kanai Ward now. You're powerless before the might of the Amaterasu Corporation. Hey. No, um, I didn't mean... Hey, don't surrender so easily. You were so close. That does it. You're under arrest. Listen, you got no right to remain silent, and you got no yeah. right to call a lawyer either. Take him away. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on just a second. Hey, excuse me. Do you have a minute? You. It's all good. Let's stop all the fighting. Oh, what up? We both have to follow orders from the higher up, so let's not do anything that causes unnecessary tension. I like this guy. Falsifying evidence and testimonies is a drag when it comes time to do the paperwork, right? It's tough keeping things consistent. Just forget about all that and leave it to me, yeah? You know, I saw that the true culprit was alive and well just a bit ago. What? If he let us go, I'll cook something up in my report to the World Detective Organization. You don't want trouble, right? If the WDO floods this joint because of you. Your punishment might be kind of brutal. So, you know what to do. Leave things well enough alone, as they say. As they say! I like this guy. Let's go! Goodness, that worked out. Who is he? Beats me? <laughs> All right, we got to be close to the end of the chapter. Well, I bet that was quite a long trip for you. Welcome to Kanai Ward. Yo, what up? Thanks. I'm Yuma. You must be Yuma. That's Yuma me. Coco Head, right? I am. And you are? I'm Yako Furio. Yako Furio. I was born and raised in Kanai Ward. Just a humble member of the WDO. I'm the director of the Nocturnal Detective Agency, and the only detective agency in Kanai Ward. My office welcomes you. Nice to make your acquaintance. Uh, thanks. The pleasure is all mine. So he's a detective from the WDO. Finally, I've met an ally. He managed to turn away the peacekeepers, so he must be in high standing. Really? He's clearly just some careless, middle-aged man. Aww. Oh, by the way, don't tell anyone about yours truly. You might have forgotten, but our secret is included in the contract. It'd be terrible if you broke this rule. To be exact, your whole body would be drained of its blood. Aww. Okay, I won't tell anyone. Well, even if you did, they'd just assume you're some crazy person. Now, shall we? Oh, by the way, I like to hear the details about this incident. I already did it twice. You're gonna have to do it in a, you know, not. You just listen. Uh, later. Right. <laughs> Yo, 
No. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. It took a while to get through all the proceedings. They practically interrogated you, right? <laughs> Kanai Ward is completely shut off from the outside world. Communication devices such as cell phones are confiscated. Cameras are not permitted to leave Kanai Ward either. Even if you smuggle something with reception in, Kanai Ward is a dead zone. Thanks to all that tight closure, nobody's using this fancy station at all. Did you say no one? You show a lot of promise, considering how you handled that Amaterasu trouble. I was scared, to be honest. I don't want to deal with them if I don't have to. Uh, the thing is, the peacekeepers always antagonize detectives. As a basic rule, never look them in the eye. They're always itching for a fight. Kind of like mad dogs. <laughs> right. Amaterasu Corp doesn't want the unified government or the WDO meddling in their matters. I even caught wind of them hiring a hitman. A uh, hitman? Oh. They plan to wipe out any master detectives before they enter Kanai Ward. The result of which is this... Amaterasu Express Massacre. So Silch was actually a hitman? Nope. There was a real master detective named Zilch. He was murdered beforehand and used as a disguise. Oh. You were in the first car earlier. The real Zilch is laying dead somewhere in there. There was a separate first car at the station before you arrived where Zilch's body was hidden. Then, the four train cars that you rode in would arrive at the station in Kanai Ward and connect with the fake first car. That makes a total of five dead master detectives at Kanai Ward's platform. With no master detectives left, you would be arrested as the only culprit. That was the plan. They would go to such lengths? Absolutely. Even though the plan didn't work, we still lost five master detectives. True. Given the situation, I'm honestly surprised you survived, Yuma. That's all thanks to me. You're so lucky to be haunted by yours truly. Wait, if there was a real Zilch, then the number of people on board the Amaterasu Express... Including me, that makes six people. The numbers still don't add up. I, Hoochie, heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was... Precisely five. Oh, I'll explain that later. Anyway, let's leave this place. Wouldn't want to give the peacekeepers any ideas. Really? It's raining. Hey, you're right. Roll credits. <laughs> I like the vibe. Who's that guy? Beats me. Alright. Hey! So I didn't get really going till what, what, half hour in? So it's about five hours to get it done with I see, I learning see. stuff. Not too bad! Once culprits boom killed, you get rewarded based on how well mastered it. Oh god. Are you gonna remember all of this? Get a reward for each. <laughs> Between S, S, and C, not only get a reward, every ring below it. Uh, so try shooting for the top. Oh no. Huh. Okay. What? I mean. Yeah! Not 
not bad. The old not quite SS, but what is I'm not, not an A. Didn't pretty good, pretty good. The old double save. 